Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. Hey, Mom, I'm going outside to practice with my soccer ball. Okay, Molly, have fun. Thanks. I'm gonna make it on the soccer team if it's the last thing I do. I just have to practice a lot and then I'll get really good and I'll be able to make it when I try out for the soccer team. They'll make me, um, maybe they'll make me soccer team captain. O-M-G. Uh-oh. I dropped my, my, my soccer ball in, in Sarah's fountain. Oh, whatever. Are you serious? You are so terrible at soccer. I mean, you put it in my fountain. What were you even thinking? Um, sorry about that, Sarah. I didn't mean to. I was just practicing and, and well, I'm, I'm trying to get better so I can make it out of the soccer team. You will never be good enough to be on the soccer team. You're such a loser. Don't even bother practicing. Why would you say that, Sarah? I I'm working really hard. Because it's the truth. Ugh. Once a loser, always a loser. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean of you to say. <laughs> Molly, are you okay? What's going on? I'm fine. I want to talk about it. <laughs> Molly, what's wrong? Are you okay? You never call me. You always text. I'm not okay. I, 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 Molly, come down. Tell me. You can tell me anything. I know. That's why I called you because you're my best friend. But I was playing soccer and, and Sarah was bullying me about being terrible. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry she was saying that to you. That's, that's really not nice. Um, Molly, I'm so sorry, but I have to go do some homework now. But can we talk tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly. I'm sorry you're hurting right now. But don't forget, we're BFFs. I know. Thanks for listening, Brookie. Bye. Brookie! Hey, good morning! Oh, what's Sarah doing? Hey, Brookie. Nice to see you. Good morning. Sarah, why are you talking to my best friend? I didn't know it was illegal to talk to people at school. Well, well, but she's my best friend. Um, Molly, it's okay. Everything's fine. Don't freak out. Not everything is fine. I... What, are you feeling kind of jealous? <laughs> Maybe she wants to talk to me too, Molly. You don't own Brookie. Whatever! Oh, this is such the worst day of my life ever! Molly, what's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm having another bad day and it just started. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry you're having such a rough time. But we have to get ready for this quiz we're having in math class. I can't even think about the quiz. All I can think about is the fact that... My best friend is becoming friends with Sarah, who's a giant bully. Aww. Okay, class. Um, everybody, come on in. Come on. We have a quiz today. Molly, did you study? Yeah, sort of. Oh, could this day get any worse? Probably. I mean, you also look terrible in that orange yellow sweater or whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Now she's picking on my fashion sense too? Wow. This test is so much harder than I thought it would be. This test is a piece of cake. Oh, no wonder she thinks it's easy. She's so much smarter than me. I'm such a loser. Molly, don't say that. I just feel terrible about myself today. Sarah's really making me feel down. Okay, everybody, please hand in your test. Uh, the, uh... Test! I thought it was a quiz! Sorry, I meant quiz. The, the, uh, the class is over, so, uh, yeah, I just need to go get a cup of coffee. It's Monday and my brain's not awake yet. Okay, no problem, Mr. Jared. Phew, I'm glad that math test is over, quiz, whatever, whatever it was! It was horrible and I don't ever want to take it ever again. <laughs> Time to get out my books from English class. What's this? It's a letter, I wonder who it could be from. Dear Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean? My BFF is Sarah? At least she's honest? Oh my gosh. Brookie... Brookie doesn't want to be my friend anymore! <laughs> I don't know what I ever did wrong, but I don't think that I'm mean or a liar. Molly, are you in here? You missed all of English class. Molly, are you with you? Just go away, Daisy. Molly, I know I'm only your sister, but... If you need me to be, I could be a friend, too. Come on out, Molly. Talk to me. Oh, I, I'm having the worst life ever. Oh, there, there, Molly. I'll give you a hug and then make you feel a lot better. It doesn't make me feel... Okay, it made me feel a little bit better, but... 
But I can't figure out why Brookie doesn't like me anymore. What? Brookie doesn't like you anymore. This is news to me. What's going on, Molly? I saw her hanging out with Sarah this morning. She was probably just talking to her to be nice. Yeah, but then I got this letter in the in my locker. What? Let me see that. It says, Molly, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're mean, and I want to be best friends with Sarah because at least she's honest. Holy guacamole! This must still be some sort of huge misunderstanding. It must be, Molly. You know Brookie loves you. You're her best friend. And you've been that way since preschool. Since you were toddlers. Well, this letter says it all. Our friendship, it's over. Well, Molly, at least we're having pizza for lunch. Well, yeah, I guess that is a plus. You, you, can't, you can't knock having pizza for lunch. Well, but it's still making me really upset. Come on, Molly. The pizza will at least make you smile a little. You gotta be hungry. Yeah, I am pretty hungry. Okay, let's go to lunch. Pizza makes everything better, right? <gasps> oh my god! Brookie and Sarah are sitting next to each other. That letter must be true. Oh look, it's a loser, Brookie. <sighs> Don't let her sit next to us. Well, um, uh, oh, <laughs> everyone hates me, including my best friend. <laughs> Just hide behind this dumpster where nobody can find me. That's all anybody thinks I'm worth, trash. <laughs> We've been friends since we were toddlers, and now she doesn't even like me anymore. <laughs> Who's texting me? Oh, it's Brookie. I'm... I'm not even going to look at it. I mean, why should I? She's she's not even my friend anymore. I mean, she's made it clear that she doesn't want to be my friend. So why just keep sending me texts to be mean to me or something? I don't need to look at those. I, I don't need to look at them. We're not friends anymore. Well, I guess I should go home and do all that homework. Ugh. I just wish my day would get better. I lost my best friend. Rookie? What are you doing here? Hi, Molly. Um, uh, I brought a pizza. Why'd you bring a pizza? I thought you don't want to be my friend anymore. Wait, what? I never said I didn't want to be your friend anymore. Really? What's this letter say then? Huh? Huh? What? I didn't write that letter. Wait a minute. Did Sarah write this letter? Maybe. Why have you been hanging out with her then? You know she's a bully and I told you yesterday she was so mean to me. I was even crying on the phone and everything. I just thought if I was friends with Sarah, maybe maybe since she doesn't have any friends, it would change her heart to good. She wouldn't be a bully anymore. Really? That's what you were trying to do? I thought if I won her over and was friendly to her, she wouldn't be mean to my BFF anymore. I hate to see you in pain, Molly. You were doing this all for me? <laughs> it really didn't seem that way. Sorry, Molly. I realize that the only person that can change Sarah is, well, Sarah. And it seems like she doesn't really want to change, so... <sighs> I told her we can't be friends until she starts being nice again. Wow. That's pretty amazing, Brookie. Thanks for sticking up for me like that. Is it okay if I come in? This pizza is getting really hot on my fingers. Oh, yeah! Sorry! Come on in! And uh, bring the pizza. I'm starving. <laughs> holy guacamole! I mean, holy pizza! This is delicious! I got it just for you, Molly, with my allowance. Oh, thanks, Brookie. You didn't have to do that. Sure I did. Woo, something smells delicious. Glad to see you guys made up. So why didn't you respond to my text, Molly? I didn't even read it. Well, maybe I should read it now. Seems like you guys are BFFs again. Um, okay. Molly, I love you. You're my best friend. I'm sorry if you're hurting. Please talk to me so that I can help make it better. Oh, Brookie, it was seriously nice of you. Mm. But the nicest thing you've ever done is bring me pizza. <laughs> oh, Molly, I'll be your BFF until I'm old and gray. And I'll be yours, Brookie, and I'll be yours. Oh, boy, lunch! My favorite class of the day! Hey, guys! Hey, Molly, we're having tacos. OMG. Today's going to be the best day ever, I can tell already. Molly, the day is half over. Yeah, but I slept through the first half of school. <laughs> oh, boy, Molly. Oh, look, three losers all together. Good thing I have this Starbucks or I definitely wouldn't make it. Hey, loser. 
Hey, Sarah, ignoring you now. Oh, they have pizza. What am I going to do? Pizza or tacos? Brookie, aren't you eating lunch? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm eating pizza. Oh, I didn't see it. You were hiding it down there. That's because I know if you see my pizza, you'll want to eat it. Sarah, why are you sitting at our table? It's okay. She can sit at our table as long as she's nice. <laughs> do I look nice? I think maybe you want to try to be nice. Molly, is that a new outfit? It's adorable. Yeah, it's so cool, I think. I, I paired it with this um, black and pink top. And look, there's like roses all over it and stuff. Since spring is right around the corner. You think that's cool? That is the ugliest outfit I've ever seen. When did you get that at Ugly R Us? Rude, Sarah! That's not nice! <laughs> I thought my outfit was really cute. It is cute. I'm a fashionista, so I know. She doesn't know anything. She's not on the cheerleading squad, even. She's not cool. Well, uh, she is my sister, so I don't know how cool she is, but... Molly, you're supposed to be on my side! Sorry. Yeah, she's definitely cool, Sarah. Take that back! Never. You know, Sarah, I'm getting so tired of you bullying me and my sister and my friend. Like, it's just so lame. Stop it. No. <laughs> really? That's all you can say is no? Yeah. No. Well, well, maybe you should challenge her to something, Molly. Wait, why? Well, because whoever wins can do what the other one says, since she refuses to do what you say. Yeah, good idea! Sarah, I challenge you to a challenge! <laughs> well, Molly, you're not being really specific there. What, what challenge? I don't know, but I challenge you to a challenge. All right, loser, what's the challenge? Molly, you're good at dancing. Um, Just challenge her to that. I challenge you to a dance challenge. Fine, you know I am cheerleading captain. I'm an amazing dancer. She's been and Molly's been dancing since she was like two years old. She's got this. Okay, Sarah, let's do this. You go first, loser. No, nope, I think I should both dance at the same time. Yeah, and they're the judges, so fine. This one's so easy, even a baby could do it. Okay, well, what about this? Yeah, so, this one's easy, too. All right, well, um, you do your own dance, and I'll do my own dance. That's what I said from the beginning. Duh. Beat that loser. <laughs> Gladly. Ta-da! OMG, Marley, that was amazing. Marley wins. No, I could do a backflip. Watch this. Okay, Sarah, watch it. Ow! I can try it. I can do it. Oh, no, I can't. That really hurt my leg. Are you okay, Sarah? Yeah, I'm fine, loser. Actually, um, now that you lost to me, you're the loser. Wait, no, the judges didn't say. Uh, yes, we did. Bookie, what do you think? I'm sorry. Um, Molly's the winner. Yeah, totally. Molly's the winner. Yeah, Sarah. No! Ugh! Now you have to do what I say all day long for 24 hours. First thing you can do is carry my backpack. It's super heavy. Why do you have all this stuff for school? Well, there's a cup in there for a snack and a drink. And I also have like a little nap pad there so I can take a nap. Seriously? You don't need all this stuff for school. Hey, no one asked your opinion. Just follow me. I have to go to my locker. Get some more stuff to put in that backpack. What? No, no more stuff. Yep, I'm going to need some books and... O-M-G. This is the worst day of my life. Oh. <laughs> it's the best day of mine. Oh, look, it's time for math class. Come on. Oh, I don't want to go to math. Uh, I also have a lot of homework, so you're probably going to have to do that. And hurry, Sarah, because once a teacher comes in, you can't do your homework anymore because, you know, homework is supposed to be done at night. Seriously, I have to do your homework from last night? Uh, yep. That would be what I said. OMG, like you didn't do any of this homework at all. I know, I left it for you. 
You didn't even know we were gonna do that challenge. Okay, you're right. I just didn't do it. But now that I have you to do it, awesome! I can't believe it. Bookie Molly actually is getting Sarah to do everything she says. I know. It's pretty great, right? It totally is. Hey, redhead up there. Be quiet. Is she talking to me? I don't see any other redhead around here. You're so annoying. Hey, don't talk to my sister that way. Ugh, okay, I guess I have to do what you say. Well, look at that girl up there. She's ugly. Are you talking to me? Yeah, you can't even see Brookie's face. You can only see the back of her head. What are you talking about? I remember what her face looks like. Ugly. You know what, Sarah? I think maybe I'm not going to have you do homework or carry my backpack or anything like that. Oh, good. I'm getting kind of sick of all of this. I'm going to have you be nice to every person you've been mean to. What? No, I'm in charge here. No, no, you're not. Not for 24 hours. I don't want to do that. That's lame. Well, they don't want to be bullied, but you don't give them a choice, do you? Well, uh, uh. Let's start with my friend, Brookie. Come here, Sarah. I want you to say you're sorry and mean it. And then I want you to tell Brookie three things you think are nice about her. Oh, do I have to? Yes! I'm sorry, loser. Try again, Sarah. I'm sorry, Brookie, for all the times I was rude to you. Really? Do you mean it? <sighs> yes, for 24 hours at least. Oh, thank you. Now three things, Sarah, three things. <sighs> I think your hair is actually really beautiful. You do? Should we say I'm ugly? Yeah, but I was just jealous of your hair. Ugh! I can't believe I have to say this. Two, I think you're really nice and have a really bubbly personality, which mostly I find annoying. But I guess, by being honest, it's kind of nice. Very good, Sarah. Now, number three. I don't have a three, okay? This is hard enough. My brain's going to explode. Stop shuffling your feet like you have to go potty and tell her the third thing. Fine. I... I like your dog shirt. I'd never wear it, though. It's lame. Sarah, that didn't sound like a compliment. Okay. It's not really cool, but I like it anyway. Oh! The horror! I can't believe I said all those nice things. Oh, my gosh. Being nice actually killed Sarah. <laughs> I don't think it actually killed her. I think she's okay. I... 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 Let's do CPR! Sarah! Get off of me, loser! Okay. You're gonna have to be nice to Daisy next. No, I'd rather die. Just leave me here. Leave me here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, this day just keeps getting better and better and better. Okay, Sarah, get off the floor. Oh, uh, don't make me. Yep, you have to. Why don't you say something nice to me and Daisy right now? You might be less of a Karen. Never! Never about the Karen and never about saying anything nice. Both. You have to, Sarah, say something nice. Ugh, fine. Daisy, your pigtails are actually adorable. Really? <laughs> she likes them. What about me? Molly, you are the funniest person on the planet. <laughs> I think you should listen to me forever. Not a chance, loser. For that matter, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm skipping school. I don't need this. Wow, Molly, I think you actually broke Sarah's brain. <laughs> She's running all the way down the street. Bye, Sarah! <laughs> ah, this is the perfect day. Wow, I'm actually going to be to class early today. I can't even believe it. I'm turning over a new leaf, and I'm becoming an amazing student. Oh, good morning, loser. Hey, don't call me a loser. It's a little too early in the morning to be called loser, okay? Can we wait till at least lunchtime, Sarah? I mean, seriously. Whatever. Losers say things like that all the time. Losery things. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I can't even win with you, Sarah. You're 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 driving me crazy already. Oh, uh, you've you've got something on your back there, Molly. Let me just get it off so you don't look like well, a loser. Oh, oh. Well, that was kind of nice of you. Thank you, Sarah. Better get to class. <laughs> you wouldn't want to be late, right? Uh, no, I definitely wouldn't want to be late. To be or not to be? 
Late for class, Molly. That's the question. Um, sorry, I got a little distracted in the hall. Oh, I hate to give you detention again, Molly. Take your seat. Psst, Molly. Molly, you have something on your back. Oh, I know. Sarah picked it off for me. She was actually being kind of nice for a change. Um, uh, Molly, um, no, I definitely think she put something on your back. What? What are you talking about? Good thing the whole class isn't here yet. Yeah, where is the whole class? My goodness, I'm going to have to give everyone detention. What's on my back, Brookie? What's on my back? It says, kick me? Sarah, did you put a kick me sign on my back? What? No, of course I didn't. Now leave me alone. Can't you see I'm finishing my delicious Starbucks shake? Um, I don't care what you're doing right now, because I am so angry. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You're gonna what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. Oh, she's spraying me with the fire extinguisher, Mrs. Smith. Oh my goodness, I've had enough of you two bickering and fighting all the time. After class, you both are going to go to the janitor's room and get brooms and start cleaning the entire school. But won't we miss class? Oh yeah, good point. After school, you both are going to stay afterwards and clean the entire school. Maybe if you guys work together and have some teamwork, you two can learn to get along. But she's the bully! Really? Because you just sprayed me with the fire extinguisher. Oh my goodness, I need a vacation. I really need a vacation. I can't believe this, Sarah. This is all your fault. Molly, um, I would sit down before Mrs. Smith gives you detention. Ugh, fine. Oh, Molly, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. I know Sarah's been bullying you since, like, kindergarten. Yeah, I can't believe I've got to spend the evening cleaning this school. You know there's toilets here, right? I'm going to have to clean the poo-poo toilets. Oh, that does sound awful, Molly. Do you still have that kick me sign on your back? I tried to take it off, but I think the me part is still stuck. Here, Molly, I'll help you get it off. There you go, Molly. <sighs> I'm so sorry again. I hope your time here with, with Sarah isn't too bad. Thanks. You're a really good friend, Brookie. I don't know how I'd make it without you. Well, call me when you get home. I will. Bye. Bye. Heidi, ho there! You must be the student that's going to help me clean everything. <laughs> I get a night off and I get paid. Now I have one rule. No cell phones. What? No cell phones? But, 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 but I need my cell phone. Hand it over, Missy. I don't want you texting on the job. I also wouldn't want you, well, taking selfies in the boys' bathroom. Believe it or not, we've had that happen. Um, okay, here's my phone. Oh, I hate to give this up. What if I need to talk to Brookie? I'm not giving up my iPad. Actually, yes you are, unless you want in-school suspension. <laughs> okay, fine, here's my iPad, but I want it back. Don't be stealing it. Do I look like somebody that would steal your iPad? Uh, yeah, you look like super poor and stuff. Oh, I can't imagine why everyone calls you the school bully. All right, we'll get started. The, uh, the mop bu buckets are in the janitor's room. Have a good night! <laughs> I'm gonna go to Starbrooks. This is all your fault that we're in this mess, Sarah. Whatever. Ugh. I'm just gonna go chill in the janitor's room. He probably has a bed in there to take a nap. Whoa, he does. You have to actually help me clean, Sarah. I don't think so. This is more like it. Oh, she is so annoying. All right, let me see. There's the mop bucket. I'm just gonna go over to the sink and fill everything up. Oh, I know what I forgot. The soap. Is there any any in here? Oh, I'm, I'm gonna have to go to the supply closet. Sarah, the, 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 the door won't open. Whatever, you're just trying to prank me right now. No, the, the, the door, it's, it's, it's stuck. What? You better not be pranking me, or else. I'm not. Try to open it yourself. Oh my gosh. Well, use your phone to call somebody. Uh, I can't. I gave it to the janitor. He didn't want me texting or taking self selfies in the boys' bathroom. We're, we're stuck in here? Well, let's scream at the top of our lungs. Ah! Ah! 
Yeah, that's super loud. Well, how else am I gonna get heard? Get me out of here! I can't be stuck in here with this loser! Oh my gosh. I'm stuck in here with this loser. Hey, what? You passed out from that? Seriously? That's a little bit dramatic, don't you think? Actually, this could be a perfect time for you to get to know me better, Sarah. And then you could realize I'm not actually a loser. No, no. I, I can't do it. I'm going to die. I can't be stuck in here with this loser. This is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not actually a loser. Like, seriously, watch my epic dance moves. These are amazing. See? Not such a loser, right? I'm dead. I'm literally dead. Hey, those were good dance moves. What are you talking about? Okay, how about I sing you a song? No. No, see my eyes? I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead! Well, you're still talking, so you can't be that dead. And you st still can hear, so you can use your ears to listen to this amazing song. Oh, P-I-G-G-Y, a piggy is after me. Please, no more! P-I-G-G-Y, a piggy won't just set me free. See how long I can hold the note. Whoa, I'm amazing, right? I'm not even a loser or anything. Only the coolest people in the world can hold notes this long. I'm even changing notes. Hear me, I'm so cool. Please, God, take me away from this awful place. Really? She's so dramatic. Okay, maybe music and dance isn't your thing. Uh, you want me to tell you a joke? How do you make a tissue dance? Give up, give up. <laughs> put a little boogie in it, put a little boogie in it. Get it, a boogie, a booger, get it. <laughs> hey, Sarah, look, if we're ever gonna get out of here alive, we have to work together. No, I am done with the world. Yeah, she is really dramatic. All right. Well, let's see if there's any, like, escape hatches or anything. Hmm, doesn't seem to be. Maybe we could go down the sink or something? Oh. Sarah, I think this is going really well, don't you? I think after we get out of here, like, when the school gets back in session tomorrow morning, we could be, like, besties, don't you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> there you guys are. I forgot my keys. Have you guys been stuck in here? Oh my gosh, thank God I'm finally going to be out of here. Huh, being stuck in here for 24 hours was just more than I could bear. 24 hours? You were in here for 24 minutes. Huh, being stuck even that long with Molly is torture. Seriously? I thought we were best friends now. Sarah, wait for me. Aren't we BFFs? Sarah! Where'd she go? Oh, wait, there she is. Sarah! Why are you running so fast? You know I eat too many cupcakes and I can't run that fast. Oh, you stay away from me! Loser! Oh. She still thinks I'm a loser. Well, I'll just have to plan to lock us into the janitor's room tomorrow for another 24 minutes. <laughs> Maybe she'll change her mind then. <laughs> Starving. Let's see what I can have to eat. Uh, I don't want to really cook anything. I think I'll just have like... No, no, no. Ooh, a black tart. I love these. Molly, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be doing your homework? Um, yeah, but I need a snack. Molly, you're always full of excuses. You better actually do your homework. You don't want detention again, do you? Ugh. Detention. Yeah, that was pretty awful. <laughs> I had to stare at the blackboard for like an hour. And then I had to write this big long thing that kept saying like, I will do my homework. I will do my homework. I will do my homework. Like a million times. Yeah, it was awful, right? Yeah, it was like prison. <laughs> then go do your homework so you don't get detention. Ugh, I hate doing my homework. I mean, can't we just finish all our work in school? Mom doesn't come home from work with homework. I know, Molly, but we have to do it. It's what the teacher says. Okay, fine. Homework. I hate homework. Ooh, well, I could just play a video game. 
I think playing a video game is the perfect idea. <laughs> Who said that? Who's there? Me. <laughs> Your best friend. Yeah, I think you're right. I think I think I should play a video game. Sounds like a lot of fun to me. <laughs> what game should I play? Ooh, Blacksborn. Yeah, play Blacksborn. Blacksborn looks like lots of fun. Who needs to do homework? Homework, small work. So boring. Molly, what are you doing? You should be doing your homework. Who said that? I'm your guardian angel, and, and I really think you should do your homework. She doesn't want to do her homework. She wants to play more games. <laughs> but Molly, if you keep playing games, you're going to get detention. Ooh, detention. Is that a threat? Why don't you just go back to where you came from, little devil? You keep telling Molly to do bad things. Hey, can you two keep it down back there? I'm trying to play my video game. <laughs> Molly, you know your sister Daisy was right when she said you should be playing. You you shouldn't be playing a game. You you should be doing your homework. Oh, uh, why don't you buzz off, little angel? <gasps> I can't believe you just said that. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> playing that game was so fun. Who cares about homework anyway? <laughs> playing games is so much more fun. Molly, what exactly are you doing right now? I'm playing a game. What does it look like? Molly, did you not remember how bad detention is? Who cares about detention? Molly, do your homework. Oh, I don't want to do my homework. Ew, you didn't do your laundry either. Gross. You're going to get in so much trouble. You're going to have detention. And you're going to be grounded for not doing your chores. All right, fine. I'll do my chores. And then your homework, Molly. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'll do my homework. Good job, Molly. I'll see you later. I gotta go back to doing my own homework. <laughs> Why would you do something so stinky and boring like laundry? Um, uh, because I need to have clean clothes? Who cares? If you smell and someone doesn't like it, tell them to plug their nose. Whoa. <laughs> the little devil side of me is really devilish. <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess I don't need to do my laundry. Molly, you know you should do your your laundry. You don't want to be smelly. I mean, who wants to sit next to somebody who hasn't done their laundry in three weeks? Oh my gosh, you're back. Yeah, I'm your little angel. I'm, I'm supposed to tell you the good things to do. Didn't I tell you already to buzz off? Listen, little devil. You need to stop telling Molly what to do. It's rude. I know. <laughs> Rude is my specialty. You guys are driving me crazy. Should I do this laundry or not? Absolutely. That's the right thing to do. No, Molly, don't. Ah! You guys are driving me crazy. Just make up your minds. Ah! Molly, are you okay out there? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, I gotta do this laundry. I don't want to be stinky. <laughs> she chose me, the good side. This time. But don't get used to it. Huh. Maybe I should have listened to the little devil inside of me because literally doing laundry takes so long. Molly, you're doing your laundry. Good job. Jeepers, creepers. I thought maybe you were going to be bad forever. What? Me? No, I'm not that bad. I gotta do some chores and then I have to go to bed because I need to get up early for school so I get a good grade on my test. Test? What test? Molly, you didn't study? Oh, brother, you better go study right now so you can get to bed on time. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure, I'll do that. After I put all this laundry away. Wow, look at this pile of homework. Oh, I really don't want to do it all. Aw. Oh, I guess I better get started, though. Congratulations, Molly. You're doing such a good job. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Guardian Angel. <laughs> uh, this is a lot of homework, though. But the reward will be great. You'll be so smart and full of knowledge. And, well, you won't get detention. And we both know you don't want that. <laughs> yeah, well, Angel, you're right. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> you really did your homework? Lame. Listen, little devil. It's lame to have detention. It really stinks. Well, since you did all that homework, I think you could stay up late and play some more of your video game. But 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 if I don't go to bed early, I, I won't get a good grade because I'll be exhausted. 
Who cares? I'm sure you'll be just fine. Besides, you did all that laundry and chores, and then you did your homework. You deserve to play a game. Yeah, I deserve to stay up late and play a game. I don't care if it's a school night. <laughs> exactly. Ugh. Whoa, super tired. What time is it? 2 a.m.? Holy guacamole! Uh, I need to go to bed, like, right now. Molly! Molly, wake up! Your alarm clock is going off! You're gonna be late for school! Molly! Molly, wake up! No, 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 Molly! <laughs> Sleep as long as you want. What are you talking about, little devil? She, she's she's going to miss school. Well, little angel, who cares about school? We care about school. School's important. Well, apparently school's not too important to Molly since she's sleeping through her alarm. All that work you did last night, having her do her chores and homework. <laughs> I messed that all up. Now she's going to have detention forever. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Today I'm playing a mobile game called Good vs. Evil. So now I gotta make some decisions because I'm a cute little angel. Would I rather, oh, somebody's scolding me. Would I rather dance or throw up? Throw up! <laughs> oh, guys, I threw up candy. That was awesome. Um, I'm gonna go see the the demon. Oh, <laughs> level one success. My turn, Molly, my turn. Okay, not now, cheapos. Okay, um, I'm gonna work hard because I'm good and, like, I'm not gonna be a demon. Should I read a book or should I be naughty? Oh, I've got angel wings and a halo. I'm gonna read a book. Oh, he's saying very good job, like, on my teachers. Throw a rock or play with it. Oh, uh, probably wouldn't play with a rock or throw. Oh, throw it. Um, no, I'm gonna play with it because throwing it might hurt somebody. Look, everybody said, you're an amazing angel. So, uh, basically, this is the angel that takes me to heaven or whatever. <laughs> Let me try again. I want to I wanna see if I can be better. Okay. Oh, look at all this money in this safe. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is be greedy. <laughs> uh, oh, I punched that kid. Oh, my God. That was horrible. <laughs> okay, well, I punched him. Oops. Am I gonna marry or make a divorce? Oh, come on. I believe in love. I'm gonna marry. I'm definitely not, I'm I'm not gonna be a demon. Oh, they asked her to marry me. Marry me, I'm doing a marry me dance. Oh, marry me, marry me, wiggle those hips. <laughs> okay, where am I gonna go? What? Oh, I died and I'm going with the demon. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, the demon wins. Start a new soul. I gotta start a new soul because you're just horrible. Okay, I'm gonna catch the bus. Let me grab my school books and um, clean up my room. Oh, mom, I'll definitely clean up my room. Don't yell at me, okay? Don't yell at me, I'm gonna clean up my room. Okay, clean up my room. Um, now, uh, I'm, what, I'm a demon? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna play with the, oh no, I went through the wrong door. <laughs> Oopsie, uh oh, Molly, I'm a demon too. <laughs> I always knew that about you, Daisy. I always knew it about you! Alright, so next is my turn. Molly, can I try again? No. Okay, am I gonna play her the guitar or break it? I'm gonna break it like a rock star! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! That was so ridiculous. Greet your ex or beat him? Um, I'm definitely gonna um just say hi. I mean, I don't need to be violent, right? Wait, he's with a new girlfriend? Oh, I should have hit him over the head with a frying pan. Share your leftovers or dump him. Dump him. Dump him for sure. 
dumping all my leftovers and you're dumped too. You're a terrible boyfriend! I'm definitely gonna be with the demon this time. You've always the demon, Molly. Going with the demon. My turn, Molly! Okay, am I gonna feed my child to save it for my... Oh my gosh, of course I'm gonna feed my child. Holy guacamole, that's terrible. Here you go, your little old full bottle, but that's okay. Am I gonna chit-chat with her or make a scene? Make a scene! Uh, Daisy, that means you're gonna fight. Really? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, Daisy, you're fighting with her right now. Oopsie! <laughs> we can be friends. Oh no, you don't want to be my friend? Okay, whatever. Should I make him happy or he does not deserve it? I'll make him happy. I'll give him the present. He's probably a pretty good boyfriend. Yay! Okay, wait a minute. Oh! Wait, I died and I'm gonna be with an angel. Oh! The good always wins, Molly. No! Evil wins. That's because you keep playing half of the game. That's no fail. Okay, well, let's just do a complete round by ourselves, and then you can do a complete round. Sounds good, Molly. You go first. Okay, I'm starting a new soul. Here we go. Should I drink the milk or make a fuss? Make a fuss! Make a fuss! Wee! Wee! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Throwing up. Okay, should I share the candy or throw it? Throw it! Molly, you already know you're going to be a demon, right? No, I'm not that bad. Here, have this candy. Blah! <laughs> oh, boy, Molly, you really are evil. Come on, demon! Let's go have some fun! Your sword is going nowhere good, Molly. Okay, next, should I read the book or be naughty? I actually write, like reading, so I'm going to pick read a book. Oh, look. We, we, I read a book. I got a good grade. Should I throw the rock? Yes, definitely. I'm going to throw the rock. Molly, don't do it. Oh, boy. Oh, Molly. Holy guacamole. Should I work hard or cheat? Um, I don't really want to do either of those, but I'm going to pick cheat. Molly. It's just a game, Daisy. Relax. Let me see what you got on your grade there. Let me see what you got. Maybe she didn't get a good grade either, Molly, and then you cheated off somebody who failed. Yeah, good point. That's always a risk you take if you cheat off people. Let's see what your soul did. Okay, should I marry them or make a divorce? Make a divorce! We're never going to be together. Here's your ring. I don't want it. I want to be greedy with the money, too. Molly, you're just trying to... Oh, she was you threw money at them. Okay, I'm going to be respectful. I would not punch... Oh, I went through the wrong door! Oopsie! Oh, I didn't mean to punch you. Seriously. Yeah, sure you didn't, Molly. You're definitely going with the demon. Okay, I pulled. A, I played a full level by myself. And... Dun, 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 definitely a demon. Okay, guys. Do you think I'm going to be a demon or an angel? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to start my new soul now. I'm going to clean up my room, obviously, duh. Okay, here's the thing. When I get a new toy, like, I don't want to shale, so I'm sorry, but I have to pick don't shale. <laughs> oh, my gosh! Ah! Daisy, that was evil. I'm going to catch the bus, of course. I'd never ditch school. Ah, I'm going to keep running into that. Oh, no! Look, I had, like, a little demon above my head. What's that mean? It means you're a demon, Daisy. <gasps> oh, my God! I'm going to try harder on the next round or I'm going to be a demon and my soul will be lost forever. I think it's fun to be a demon. <laughs> okay, what would an angel do? Share her leftovers. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Here you go. Creep my ex or beat him. Um, well, I guess I'll creep my ex. Uh... And I'll be glad that you actually get to hang out with him because he's a loser! Okay, play with her or break it? Oh, play to her. Okay, I'll play to her. <laughs> la, 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 la. Aren't I a rock star? Now pick me, I'm an angel, right? Oh, thank goodness. Daisy, it's going to be a hard one to tell if you're an angel or a demon. That's because I learned how to be a demon from you. Okay, I'll give him the present and make him happy. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm split right down the middle between angel and demon. Of course, I'd feed my child. I already got this question. And also, we're going to start potty training. You're seven years old. Okay, chit-chat with her. Yes, definitely. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Daisy, just like the flower. How are you today? Okay, I'm an angel because I talked to you. Daisy, I think you're going to be a demon. Demon, 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 demon. No, Molly, I'm an angel. What? No, it says you're a demon. <laughs> what, this game is so messed up. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching today. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, if you guys like these mobile games, let us know in the comment section below the next one you want us to play. Yeah, and by the way, I'm an angel, not a demon. Sure you are, Daisy. Sure you are. <laughs> Thanks, school bus driver. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Lily. Bye, Bookie Cookie. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah, we're going to see our friends tomorrow at school. It's going to be awesome, Daisy. I told Molly I, I'm so excited about it. Mom, we're home! Mom, we're home! Oh, Dad, you're home from work early! Yup, girls. I took the afternoon off. Sometimes you just need some downtime. Tell me about it! Wish I could have a day off from school once in a while. Oh, girls, you have half days all the time. Teachers in service and holidays. Yeah, well, it never feels like it's enough. Oh, Molly, I think you should try to be more excited about school. I'm excited! Wee! 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 Don't mind Molly, she had an ice cream at lunch, and the sugar's making her crazy. Whatever, Daisy! You had an ice cream, too! Yeah, Molly, but I also had a salad. They counterbalance. That's called balance! <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, Daisy, whatever. You had two scoops of ice cream. I did not, Molly! I had one and a half! Uh-huh. You had three, Molly. Oh my gosh, it was so delicious today. It was so good. Mom, guess what? Dad, guess what? What? What is it, Daisy? I got an egg on my spelling test. Hooray! That's great, Daisy. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you too, Daisy. Molly, what did you get on your test? Uh, test? Uh, what test? Molly. Um, I, I did okay. Yep, yeah, I did all right. Molly, are you telling the truth right now? Yeah, I'm telling the truth! Uh, Mom, can I have a snack? I've got to go. You've got to go where? I have to play with my friends at the park. First, I want to talk to you about the spelling test, Molly. She doesn't want to tell you, but she got a bad grade. Daisy! What? Why did you tattletale on me? Molly, it's the truth. It's not tattletaling if it's the truth. Yes, it is. That's none of your business what I got on my spelling test. Well, Molly, when it comes to telling Mom and Dad the truth, that's what I'm going to do always. Is this true, Molly? Did you fail your spelling test? Um, well, um, uh, Molly, did you fail or not? Uh, well, I didn't know I had a test. It's not my fault. I, I didn't know I had to study. Molly, don't you remember last night before school? No. What happened? I remember it quite well. Oh my gosh, I love this game. Look at us, we're all flying in an airplane to vacation. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm having so much fun. Molly, Molly. Uh, I can't talk right now, Mom. I'm playing Blacksborn. Molly, it's almost time for bed. Have you done your homework? Um, uh, well, uh. Molly. You have a spelling test tomorrow. Your teacher sent home a paper about it. I need you to study for that, please. And then you have to get ready for bed. Okay, Mom. I will. I promise. Okay, Molly. Well, I'm trusting you to do the right thing. You want to get a good grade on your test, right? Yeah, Mom. Absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll start on it in just one minute. Okay, Molly. I hope you do. Whoa, this game is so fun. Ha ha ha! Wee! Oh no, I died! Oh man! That's okay, I can always play again. And again, and again, and again, and again! Ha ha ha! This is so cool! So, don't you remember me saying that to you last night, Molly? Uh, well, sort of! Molly, you promised me that you would do your spelling, um, studying, and you didn't! Well, I, I was playing Bloxborn! I. Oh, Molly, I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to ground you. Ground me? What? No! Dad, 
Don't let her do this. It's not fair. Sorry, Molly, but I agree with your mom. You're grounded. No! We're staying out for <laughs> oh, Molly, I'm very sorry. But you you just you have to you have to do what you say you're going to. You have to get good grades. Can I have some um can I have something delicious? No, you can have something healthy. You're grounded. Oh! How about a yogurt? Can I have that? At least can I have that? Or do I have to starve? Of course you don't have to starve, Molly. You can have a yogurt. You can only have healthy things. No treats. You're grounded. Oh! Mom, can I go swimming in the pool? That sounds like a great idea! Yeah, I'll go! I'll go! Of course you can, Daisy. But I'm sorry, Molly. You're grounded. Oh! This is terrible! I'm just gonna watch you, Daisy. You can watch, but you're not allowed to go swimming, Molly. I hope next time you've learned your lesson and you studied for your spelling test. What if I studied and I still got a bad grade? Well, then your mom and I would work with you so you didn't get another bad grade. And that wouldn't be your fault because you actually tried. But did you try this time, Molly? No, I didn't try. And did you promise mom that you would? Yeah, I promised. And do we lie in our family? No, we don't lie. Then now you know why you're grounded. Oh, this is terrible. Ah, this is the life. Just relaxing in the pool, having a great day after school. Could I at least get on the slide, Dad? No, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, Daisy, you could have all the fun. Actually, Molly, I didn't have any fun last night because I was too busy studying for the spelling test. So this is a well-deserved break. Ooh, we're gonna get on the slide! Whee! Oh my gosh, is she okay? I have to go in and help her. I have to go in! Molly, get out of the pool! You're grounded! <laughs> that was so fun! Whee! Whee! <laughs> Molly, now you're grounded two days instead of one! Oh, worst day ever! <laughs> oh, maybe I'll just play with my cat. They don't want to tell me I can't play with my cat, do they? Mr. Meows a lot. I'm grounded. It's terrible. Molly, no playing with toys. You're grounded. But it's Mr. Meows a lot. No, Mr. Meows a lot until you're ungrounded. Well, what am I supposed to do? You can study. Study? Ugh, yuck. Stay out of trouble, Molly. Okay, I won't get into any trouble. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Do, 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 I love this TV show. Molly, I've got to wa- Hey! Molly, you're not supposed to be watching this. You're grounded. Besides, I want to watch the news. The news? That's so boring! Why can't I watch the brightly colored unicorn? Because, Molly, you're grounded. Oh, can I at least watch the news? Well, Molly, you must be desperate if you want to watch the news. But no, no TV. Oh. Mom, can I have some ice cream? I'm having a terrible day. Molly, no, you can't have ice cream. Besides, it's almost time for dinner. Am I allowed to have dinner? Don't be silly, Molly. Of course you are. Mom, I'm really sorry that I didn't study and I promised you that I would. That's okay, Molly. I just hope that you've learned your lesson. School is really important. It is? Well, I don't think so. Except for recess and lunch. Those are pretty important. Molly, school sets you up for success when you're a grown-up. You have to learn these things. You're going to use them every single day. Why? Um, my computer just spells for me. Okay, yeah, but you still need to know how to do it, Molly. It's called being smart. Now, come on. It's time for dinner. Ah. Uh. Ooh, this book is so good. I love it. Can I at least read a book? Um, that is one thing you could do, Molly. Really? I can read? Yeah, Molly, but you always don't want to. That's not true. I love to read. That is true. Molly does like to read. And yes, that is something you can do to pass the time while you're grounded, Molly. Now, why doesn't everybody say one thing that they're thankful for today? 
Well, I don't have anything to be thankful for because I got grounded. Oh, Molly, there's always something to be thankful for. Why don't you try? Um, uh, skip me, please. Come back to me. Um, I'm thankful that today at work, I won an award. You did, dear? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, I was the best pizza eater of all of lunch. <laughs> That's the award you won, Mom? Best pizza eater at lunch? <laughs> Man, you sound just like me. Yeah, Molly, you'd be surprised. You're just like me in a lot of ways. Well, Mom, I didn't know you could eat that much pizza. That's awesome. Okay, Daisy, why don't you go next? I'm not being thankful because I got a good grade on my test. That's a great one. Okay, Molly, you're next. Um, uh, I'm really struggling here. I don't know. I mean, I'm grounded. What's there to be thankful for? You could be thankful for the lesson that you learned to not lie to mom. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. So grateful for that. Okay, Molly. I guess you get out of this one free this time. But next time you have to think of something you're thankful for. I know something I'm thankful for. What is it, Molly? I'm thankful that I can read books because I might go crazy during this grounding if I couldn't. That's a great one, Molly. Let's see. What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for this delicious smelling cheeseburger I'm about to eat. <laughs> that does sound good, Dad. Okay, everybody, dig in. Um, Dad, you ate all of the hamburgers. I did? Oops, I was really hungry. Oh, man! Excuse me, I have to use the restroom. Do, 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 ba, 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 do, do. Well, today I learned my lesson. Never promise your mom that you'll study and then not do it. You will get grounded and you'll make your mom really sad. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this awesome episode of Happy Roblox Family, guys. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Toy Heroes channel where we put out awesome videos just like this one every day. Molly, I can't wait till you're done being grounded so we can play hide and seek. Yeah, me too, Daisy. Me too. Place. This beach resort is amazing. I couldn't agree more, Molly. Wow, this is gonna be the best vacation ever. Well, it's it's a little crowded, don't you think? Never. Everybody's coming here because it's so cool, Dad. Everybody wants to have a vacation here. Yeah, Dad. Duh. I mean, this is the place to be in Roblox. Hey, w where's Mom? Your mother didn't think this was the place to be. She decided she wanted a vacation by herself. Apparently, being a mom all the time is kind of hard work. Are you serious? She went on a vacation without us? <laughs> Just kidding. She's putting the baby down for a nap in the hotel. <laughs> She'll be out later. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were serious. Hey, guys, let's go check it out. And, and see the beach and stuff. This place looks so cool. Molly, did you just stop and check for cars? Yeah, there's cars at the beach. Duh, you don't want to get run over. Like, oh, hey, I'm on my beach vacation. I've been here for five seconds, and I got run over by a Jeep. That wouldn't be a very good vacation. Okay, she does have a point there, people. This is the nicest sand I've ever been on, seriously. Ooh, is that a boat out there? Oh my god, someone's drowning! All right, um, I'm not a lifeguard, but I'm a really good swimmer, so maybe I can help out. Just, are you okay? No, I'm drowning. I'm drowning too. Okay, well, let me just help you out. I'm rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Still rescuing you. Okay, I think I rescued you. Yes, that makes me so happy. Okay, guys, let's go and explore under the water. This is snorkeling. Buddy, you need snorkel kill. Oh, my sister is so annoying sometimes. Ow. What is that? Ooh. Oh, wait, I have to come up for air. Oh, my God, I'm drowning. Um, Can I rescue myself? Um, Guys, I'm having an out-of-body experience. I'm seeing my life flash before me. Hello? Dad! You, you, Dad! Okay, I'm floating on top of the water. That's probably not good. Okay, maybe I can just get some air while I'm up here. Molly! Molly, I'm coming! M Molly, are you drowning? No, I'm already dead. You took so long to get here. Just kidding. 
<sighs> that was horrible. Okay, now I'm sinking to the bottom. Dad, uh, do you know how to rescue me? Because if not, I'm about to die. Please, let's not start the beach vacation this way. Okay, Molly, just hold on. Hold on, okay, I got you above the water. You're okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay, I'm just, I'm rescuing you now. Molly, that was terrifying to have to rescue you. You do know that when you're swimming underwater, you have to come up for air, right? Um, well, I haven't gone swimming in so long because we live where the snow never ends. She has a point, Dad. We do have very long windows. She probably forgot how to swim. Yeah, and you make me go to school every day. It's not like I have time to practice anything except for homework and detention. Oh, Molly. Oh, I'm just saying, if you go back in the water, make sure you can actually swim and come up for air. Yeah, Molly, you definitely need to know how to swim if you're going to go into water. Okay, well, I'm going to try that again without the drowning this time. Daisy, you want to come with me? Sure, Molly. I actually am a very good swimmer. Of course you are, Daisy. You're good at everything. Everybody knows that. Oh, wow. The water is crystal clear today. I want to swim out to Flat Rock. That looks amazing. And guys, look, I think the water's just gonna keep getting deeper and deeper as we get farther out. That's what happens, Molly. The water just gets deeper and deeper. And you're gonna drown cause, because you're too far out and you can't swim. You literally cannot swim. I can swim, I can swim. See, I'm swimming, I'm swimming. Oh boy, I think maybe she needs to ride a boat. Whoa, there's an ambulance. Yeah, for all the other people who can't swim. I'm going to go get on this boat, guys. I don't know if they'll care or not, but I'm definitely going to get on it. Hey, wait, come back here. I need to go for a ride. Why can I not get out of the water? Ow! <laughs> Drowning on the side of the water. That was crazy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I'm with the lifeguards. Cool. All right. Can we go out to, like, see some things, like dolph dolphins or something? Because I'm on my first vacation of the summer, and I want to see all of it. I don't know where my sister went. She's... Somewhere out there in the water, but it doesn't matter. She's fine. Girls, stick together. Uh-oh, my dad said stick together, and I don't where my, know where my sister is. This vacation is kind of crazy. Get in the back. Whoa, the lifeguards are cray-cray around here. Oh, man, she looks like she's having a horrible vacation. What happened? Did you, Are you having a bad vacation? Is everything okay? Don't even talk to me right now. I'm having the worst day of my life. Oh, man. Daisy, oh, there you are. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Molly. Oh, so you didn't tell me that you weren't going out to Flat Rock. I swim all the way out there. Oh, sorry, but I want to go on the boat. But this boat just never seems to move. Oh, wait, there we go. It's moving. Sunset Cruise. Oh, Daisy, you're going to fall off. Be careful. I'm trying not to fall off, but there's not really a seat for me. This vacation is crazy. Yeah, it's because there's so many people on it. Do you guys see any dolphins? There are a lot of people on this island, Molly. I don't see any dolphins. Maybe we'll see a shark, Molly. Jump over the edge and let's find out. Are you serious? Uh, if this is shark-infested waters, that's probably a bad idea. Nonsense, Molly. You're an expert swimmer. <laughs> Not. Oh, whoa, look at we're out on this little island. And we crash on it. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. I love going out on this island, though. I don't know. This vacation so far has had good moments and bad. Time to go look at some fishies. Uh, Molly, you just gotta be careful. Remember, you need oxygen. I know, I know. Wow, I don't see a single fish. That usually means there's a shark nearby. Wait, what? Yeah, it scared off all the fishes. That's the way it goes. Holy moly! Um, that sounds terrifying. Molly, it's not a good idea to be swimming after dark. The sharks will be very active then. Okay, going back on the island. Um, how do I get up there? Ah, I can't get out of the water! Daisy, can you give me a hand? Uh, no, Molly. What are you doing, Molly? Get up here. I can't. I just keep going down, down, down. Okay, there we go. Oh, finally got back up onto the island. Uh, Molly, let's get on their boat before they leave us here. And then we'd be stuck. And that would be crazy. Yeah, there's no coconut trees to eat coconuts or anything. Okay, they're saying we are going. Well, wait for us, okay? Don't leave without us. Jeepers. That one lifeguard looks like he was on Castaway. Look at him. He looks like he's been on a deserted island for a really long time. He's got like a crazy beard going on. Yeah, and he kind of smells too. Don't think he's taking a bath in a while. He was probably abandoned on that island. <laughs> oh, man. That's some crazy stuff right there. Molly, where are we going? I think we're going back to the shore. Yeah, we definitely are. The next day. Ah, this is the life. Oh, honey, I'm so glad we got to do some relaxing and we found that amazing um, kids daycare at the beach. Ugh, I bet baby Kira's gonna love it. Yeah, she gets to hang out and with kids her own age and stuff. Like, you guys get to relax. 
Yeah, it's gonna be great. Seriously, I needed this vacation. Hey, Molly, I found a golf cart. You wanna go with me on it and go for a ride? Yeah, can we, Mom, can we? Oh, I don't know, girls. Come on, honey, we could use a little bit of just us time. Let the girls go have fun. Besides, Daisy's driving, right? Um, of course. I'm the responsible one. Blah, blah, blah. Responsible, responsible. Okay, where's the golf cart? It was just my right heel! Oh my god, someone stole it! Okay, this beach vacation has turned into something totally crazy. <sighs> um, alright, maybe we could take this. Molly, that's not ours. Hey, hey get, get out of here. We're going for a ride. No, no, I claimed it first. Oh my god, we're all fighting over it. I can't even get in the seat. It like won't let me. Come on, Molly. We'll go see if we can find a different one. Okay, let's go see if we can find um a different... Ooh, look at this. We can go on a jet ski. Want to? Molly, that's for the lifeguard. Are you crazy? <laughs> I was just thinking it would be fun. What? Where did you get that rainbow? Ah, uh, well, I just got it for vacation. I want a rainbow. You look like a sparkly unicorn and I didn't get one. Don't be such a grumpy Gus. You're on vacation, Molly. <sighs> well, I guess we're not going for a ride in the um in the golf cart or anything. Nah, I'll find another one, Molly. Daisy, I found an abandoned golf cart. Okay, I don't know where Daisy went, but I've got a golf cart. Wait, does it run? Okay, there we go. I thought maybe it was broken. That's why someone left it here. Oh my god, this is fun. Whee! <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Should I try going up those stairs? Whoa, that's a little bumpy. I don't know where Daisy went. She went to look for a golf cart, but I'm the only one that found one. Oh my God, guys, look at that. There is actually a water slide at this place. I didn't even know that. Okay, now I have to go down the water slide. That looks amazing. Hope nobody steals my golf cart while I'm up there. What? You have to go all the way up here on the cliffs and then you can go down it? Oh, MG, you can see the entire island. There you are, Molly. Daisy, look! Oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun! Whoa! <laughs> okay, that was seriously fun. <laughs> oh man, I've got the hiccups! <laughs> oh boy, here we go. She's got the hiccups. Did you eat a hot dog for breakfast? What? No, ew. Hot dogs always give you hiccups. Yeah, sometimes when I eat um sushi, it does too. I don't know why. Okay, Daisy, let's go. Oh, you ran into the golf cart. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Was that Molly I just saw fly by? I thought Daisy was doing the driving. <laughs> Whoa, what's going on with the steering? Ah! Okay, um, I just got thrown completely. Okay, uh, that was crazy town. I don't know how that happened. I got in an accident. It threw me all the way over here. Did you guys just hear that? Sort of sounded like a shark. And I'm really, really far from the shore. Oh my god, guys. I gotta swim really fast. Really, really fast. Holy macaroni. It's one of those fish with those weird light things on the front of its head. Do you guys see that? Uh, I don't think they're very friendly. I'm gonna swim away. And hopefully I don't run into that shark either. Ah! Whoa, there's a shark. Oh my god, guys. I'm in so much trouble right now. That shark looks hungry. He doesn't see me. Oh no, he definitely sees me. Ah! I met a shark on my vacation. Ah! Okay, don't follow me, please. Please, wait, is he sinking? Is that shark in trouble? Well, at least I'm not in trouble because I don't want to get eaten by a shark. Ah! I don't know if this is the craziest vacation, worst vacation, or coolest vacation. All I know is, is that I'm almost back to shore. Wait, is that whales over there? Oh no, wait, guys, they're not whales at all. They're, they're, they're dolphins. Oh, and... Gee! Um, can you guys give me a ride back? Uh, I don't know. I think those are orcas. No, the, those are orcas! I should have paid attention in, 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 in into science class because I don't know what that is. Guys, can you tell me? I think that looks like an orca. At first, I was like, no, it's a whale. Then I was like, nope, it's a dolphin. But now that I look at it, I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm up close. It's definitely an orca. What's down here? More whales, guys. But none of them want to seem to eat me, so that's probably a good thing. But I'm gonna go back and find my family because right now I am just really hungry for lunch. And I was thinking about maybe I'd have some fish sticks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you when I get back from my vacation. Bye. <laughs> Maybe kicking the soccer ball around will make me feel better. 
I don't know. I'm just... I'm gonna be so weird at school tomorrow. Everyone's gonna tease me. I just know it. Oh, no. There's Sarah. Hurry, sit down before she notices. Oh, look who it is. What? Why are you sitting in the road, Molly? Duh, that's dumb. You're gonna get hit by a car. Um, okay, I I'm just gonna move over here. Uh, why don't you stand up? Are your legs broken or something? Um, no, I'm just, um, uh, my feet fell asleep. Yeah, and, uh, I, I can't stand up. Why are you acting so weird? Um, I I'm not. I'm just sitting in my yard. Why are you bothering me anyway, Sarah? Oh, that's all you do is bother me. Oh, you're not very nice, are you? Oh, look, your soccer ball's running away. <laughs> it's gonna get hit by that bus. What? I spent my allowance on that What? Oh, no! What? Why are you so tall? Do you have, like, bricks in your shoes or something? What? No, I'm not that tall. <laughs> you totally had a growth spur, and now you're taller than everyone else at the school. So what? So? It doesn't matter if I'm taller. <laughs> you look like a total snork. What? What's a snork? <laughs> Google it, loser. Bye. It'll be fun teasing you tomorrow, you tall freak. What? Oh, I just knew that Sarah was going to tease me about being taller than everyone else. <laughs> She's so mean. <laughs> hey, Molly, did you know that whales... I don't care about whales, but it's an amazing fun fact about whales. I just have to tell you, I'm so excited. Daisy, does my face look like I care about whales right now? You should care about whales. They're amazing creatures that live on our planet. Daisy, just leave me alone, okay? Whoa, something made her awfully grumpy. My life is over! Sarah's gonna tell everybody I'm a snork! <laughs> hey, Molly! Oh, whoa, are you okay? No, I'm not okay! Oh, well, Mom wants us to do chores, and it's your turn to vacuum, so you better get on it. I'm not vacuuming today. I'm having a horrible day! Well, I'm not vacuuming again, Molly. I always do your chores for you, so it's your turn. You need to vacuum. And also, can I tell you about that amazing fact about whales now? No, no, and no! You were the most annoying sister ever. Well, that's kind of rude. Here's the vacuum anyway, so you can start vacuuming. Molly, you missed a spot. You missed a spot. Daisy, stop telling me I missed a spot. I'm not even done vacuuming yet. Well, usually you miss a lot of spots, and then one of us has to clean up after you. Well, I'm sorry I'm not the perfect vacuumer. Ah, uh, right there, Molly. You missed that spot. You already went over. Well, maybe this vacuum is just broken. I mean, if I already went over it and it didn't suck up the dirt, then it's the vacuum's fault. Molly, what has gotten into you today? You're super grumpy. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I want to be left alone. Something made you grumpy, Molly. Wait a minute. Holy guacamole. I can't believe I never noticed this before. What? You had a growth spurt. Don't I know it? Well, I mean, you will be the tallest girl in school. And, um, Daisy, stop talking about how tall I am. But you are, you're tall. Did you know that whales are tall? Daisy, I don't care about whales. You are such a snork. A, a what? What did you just say? A snork. You are a snork, a snork, a snork! <gasps> Wait, what's a snork? It's a... It, Google it! It means you're a snork! I... I can't believe you called me a bad word! Mom! Whoa, one of you's crying, one of you looks mad. This can't be good. What is going on here? Molly said a bad word! What? Molly, is this true? I don't know. It depends on what you consider a bad word. I mean, is, is b a bad word? Oh my gosh, Molly. Yes, that's a bad word. Don't ever say that again. Um, is b a bad word? Yes. Molly, are these the words you called your sister? No. Mom, she called me the worst word ever. I can't believe she even said it. Okay, well... 
Do you want to tell me what it was? I, I can't say that, Nagma. I can't even say it! Okay, well, stop crying and come whisper it to me. Then I'll be able to tell what Molly, Molly's punishment should be. Punishment? Ugh, this whole day has been a punishment to me. Molly, you, you should really be nice, you. Mom, she got me a snog. A what? A dork? No, was a snog. <gasps> Molly, you did not call your sister a snork. Wait, what's a snork? Is this some new swear word that I don't know about? Yeah, Google it. I don't have to Google it. If you said it with mean intent to your sister, then it wasn't a nice thing to say. I could even say, Daisy, you're so Daisy. And see, that sounds mean, even though I just said her name was Daisy, basically. Whoa, why is everybody being so mean to me? Oh, no, no, Daisy, I didn't mean it. Okay, Molly, go sit in the timeout chair. What? I'm not four years old. I'm not sitting in the timeout chair. Molly, if you talk to me that way, you're also going to be grounded for a week. Go stand in the corner. Fine. I don't know why Sarah gets to call me a snork. I wasn't even annoying. But when Daisy is annoying and I call her a snork, then I get into trouble. <sighs> Whatever. Standing in the corner is boring. <laughs> Good thing I have my phone in my pocket. Na, 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 na. Ooh, look at this TikTok video. <laughs> oh, man, that is hilarious. Molly, you are in a punishment. You can't have your phone handed over. But this is my phone. Not anymore. You're grounded. Oh, man. Molly, turn around. Stand in the corner. Fine. How long do I have to stand here for? Until you decide to not be mean to your sister anymore. Oh, great. I'm going to be standing in the corner for the rest of my life. Hm. I'm kind of hungry. Good thing I had this bean burrito in my pocket. Mm. That's delicious. It makes time out bearable. Whoa! <laughs> Those beans work fast! Ew! What's that smell? Wait a minute. If it smells like that, it means Molly has eaten a bean burrito. Molly, are you eating a bean burrito? Um, no. Molly, I see you eating the bean burrito. Oh, um, uh, yes? You can't eat a bean burrito in time out. What? I'm not allowed to eat? I'm hungry! No, you can eat. You can't eat anything super delicious. You can only have an apple. This is a punishment. But, Mom, I'm just going to hurry up and eat this bean burrito. Then you can't take it from me. Molly, give me that bean burrito. Mom, you took my bean burrito? Ah! If you're hungry, Molly, you can have an apple. No, I'm not even that hungry anymore. This timeout is terrible. Hmm, I've never heard of snork before. I'm just going to have to Google this. I mean, how can I not know a word? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Nothing actually comes up when I type in snork. Molly made up her own swear word? Oh, I'm not sure I can ground her. I mean, it's not actually a bad word. Oh, what do I do as a parent here? I mean, it's not actually a bad word, but she said it kind of mean. Oh, why is my kid so hard to be a parent to? I did the crime, so now I have to do the time. I can't be in timeout anymore. I'm going crazy! Well, Molly, good news is, is I can't actually ground you. Say what? Am I hearing things? I'm not grounded? Seriously? No, turns out snork isn't really a swear word, so uh, you get out of jail free this time. Hot diggity dog! <laughs> I don't have to be punished. Molly, where did you even hear the word snork? Uh, well, Sarah called it to me today, and, um, I don't know. It just seemed like something to say when someone really annoys you. Molly, I will not ground you under one condition. You cannot say mean words to your sister, even if you made up the mean word. Well, um, I can promise you for today I won't. Tomorrow's another story. Oh, Molly. Ah, why don't you go outside and play? Your mother needs some, you know, downtime. Sure thing, Mom. Thanks for not grounding me. Hey, can I have my bean burrito? Sorry, Molly. I ate it. Oh, figures. What a terrible day. Well, at least I'm not grounded. Woohoo! Sparkles, what are we going to do today? 
There's so many fun things we could do. You want to play with Mr. Kittikinums? <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I love this stuffed animal so much. I've had it since I was a little tiny girl. Oh, and even though I keep growing older and older, I mean, well, I'm not like 80 or anything, but <laughs> even though I keep growing up, I should say, I still love my stuffed animals. Molly, did you know that this math problem in her homework is super hard? Daisy, why are you in my room right now? Uh, because I was asking you about this math problem. No, Daisy, just no. But Molly, how am I ever going to be ready for high school? Um, because the teacher will teach you and then you'll leave junior high and you'll go to high school. I know, but I want to be extra prepared. Daisy, get out of my room! Fine, Molly, cease. Sorry about that interruption, Sparkles. Now we can play a game. Which one should we play? Ping pong. Ooh, Blacksborn. This looks fun. Do, 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 do. Sparkles, you're a unicorn. Do, 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 do. And I love you so much. Do, do, do. You're my best friend. Wow, Molly, you sing really loud and it's kind of bad. Daisy, why are you back in my room and insulting how I sing? Rude. Because I'm your sister. It's my job. See, that singing was much better. Hmm, this painting looks a little weird too. Hey, I painted that of sparkles. Stop it. Stop it. You're going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm going to make it look not ugly. It's not ugly, Daisy. Take it back. Nope, not taking it back. Fine, Daisy. Whatever. I'll just do the painting again. Leave me alone. I'm trying to hang out with my unicorn, duh. Whee! Sparkles, I hope you like to swim. <laughs> Look at, she's got a smile on her face. She loves it. Oh, my gosh. She's diving underwater. Oh, now she's floating on her back. Ooh, the pool. I love to go in the pool. Ah, My name is Daisy, just like the flower. Is my sister for real right now? All she's doing today is driving me absolutely insane. Oh, do you have a sister or a brother that drives you insane? O-M-G. I know what I'm going to do, though. This will definitely get rid of her. I'm just going to ignore her. I'm going to ignore her for like 24 hours. She'll get so upset that I'm ignoring her. She'll finally leave me alone. What are you saying, Molly? Can I know? Molly! Molly! Someone talking to me? I don't I don't really hear anything. Sounds like a ghost. Molly, I'm not a ghost, I'm your sister. Ah, nope, didn't hear anything. Molly, you're being so weird right now. What are you doing? Come on, Sparkles! Do 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 Ooh, this looks like the perfect spot just to relax and watch the stars. I was standing on the table, though. <laughs> I just sit down because I was literally standing on the table. What has gotten into my sister? Hey, Molly, I'm over here. Okay, I'm totally ignoring her. Well, it's, this this is going to drive her crazy. Molly! Okay, we'll play hide and seek, Molly. Come on, we can play hide and seek. Uh, no, still going to ignore her. I was going to respond, but no, I'm not going to. Molly, obviously you could heal me. You're not 80 years old and deaf. Why aren't you saying anything? Huh, sounds like someone's talking, but I don't see anybody. Molly, I am not a ghost. Stop pretending I'm not here. Molly, say something. Oh my gosh, my sister is just ignoring me. <gasps> is she doing the ignore me for 24 hours challenge? Nah, she wouldn't do that. Ooh, I'm starving. I could have a snack right now. What should I make? Cookies! That sounds delicious. There's really never a bad time to eat a cookie. Seriously. There's... I, can, I like... I can't even think of one single time ever that it's bad to eat a cookie. You're hungry? And when you get home from school? Cookie sounds good. You wake up? You don't have your favorite cereal? Eat a cookie. Uh, you get a good grade in school? Eat a cookie. Oh, man, I failed that test. Eat a cookie. You wake up in the middle of the night, and you stumble out into the kitchen, and you're starving. 
Eat a cookie. See, there's never a time when you don't eat a cookie. Do 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 do. Oh, my sister's in my room right now, but I'm trying to ignore her because if I say anything, then she wins, and she will not win. Okay, time to bake these delicious cookies, which she can't have any of. Sparkles, you want a chocolate chip cookie? Of course you do. All unicorns love chocolate chip cookies. And eating homework, because they're naughty like that. Ooh, is somebody making cookies that smell delicious? I think I'll eat them all. Molly, I said I was going to eat all your cookies. <laughs> Whatever, Molly, I know you're going to be mad if I eat all your cookies. And you can't ignore me, Ted. Do, 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 do. Ooh, are the cookies done yet? Oh my goodness, I can't believe she's ignoring me. This is terrible. <laughs> my plan is working perfectly. Now she'll know and realize just how annoying she is. Come on, Sparkles. She's gone. You can totally eat some cookies. Mmm, these look delicious. Mmm. Ooh, cookies! Uh, how am I gonna ignore her? She just took my cookies! I wanna scream right now, but I can't because then she'll know! Did you say something, Molly? Ooh, I can't wait to read your diary! Ah! What, Molly? Did you just scream a little bit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just go in the living room. Not gonna say anything. Turn on brightly colored unicorn. I at least got to eat one cookie. I'm not giving in. I am ignoring my sister for 24 hours. It's gonna be difficult though. She's really annoying and I just wanna tell her, stop being annoying! The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. Beep beep, Molly! Oh my gosh, Daisy! You drove your scooter into the house? Gosh, Daisy, I don't know how anybody can stand living with you as a sister. Literally, I cannot stand living with you as a sister. But at least there's one cookie left that she didn't get, so... <laughs> Even though I didn't win at ignoring her, still get to eat this cookie. Don't eat the last cookie, Molly! Oh yeah, totally gonna! Hey, get that scooter out of my room! No way, Jose! Do, 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 do! O-M-G! My sister is the most annoying human in the entire world. And by the way, do your stinky laundry, Molly. It smells awful. Fine, I'll do my laundry. But only because Mom said if I did my laundry all week, she'd take me to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, Chuck E. Cheese is for babies. Yeah, but it's also for awesome people like me. I love Chuck E. Cheese. They have the best pizza in the world. And they have that little, all those little, like, games you can play, like, ski ball and stuff. Ooh, yeah, that is fun. Even if you're a grown-up, that's fun. Yeah, I have to admit. This is super fun. Huh. See, Molly, you're talking to me again. Don't you feel happy? No, I don't feel happy about it at all. Then how come up here it says you're happy? You can't lie if you're happy in Roblox. Oh, man, she knows it. Guess I'm not as annoying as you say I am. Actually, Molly, I think if I just disappeared one day and you didn't have a sister, you would be so sad. No, not true. Yes, it is, Molly. It's true, it's true, it's true, it's true, it's true. Oh, brother, don't tell me you're ignoring me again. Molly, stop it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Molly, I, I'm just going to leave my scooter in your room forever. Molly, gonna leave it in here forever. Somebody talking? I didn't hear anything, Sparkles, did you? Molly, seriously, I already won. Fine, you won, but I'm just saying, get that scooter out of my room and stop annoying me. I'm locking the door. You can't lock it, Molly. There's no locks on the doors here. Oh, my gosh. Sparkles, what are we gonna do? Can we go live in Unicorn Land with all the other unicorns without Daisy? No, Molly, I'd go to Unicorn Land, too. Oh. Oh my gosh, why does it have
it happen so early? Why? Marty, oh, today's a brand new day. I can't wait to go to school. Seriously, Daisy, you can't wait to go to school? You are crazy. Insane. Totally psycho. Whatever, Marty. Just because you never do all of your schoolwork doesn't mean that all of us are bad students. I'm not a bad student. Okay, yeah, I can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I sort of am. But I'm smart and I like to read and stuff. Yeah, you just don't like homework or tests or any of the work part of school. Um, yeah. Duh. Mm, I do like the work of eating the pizza at school, though. Marty, school lunch is not the important subject. It is in my eyes. <laughs> did I forget to do my schoolwork? Oh, man, I hope I did it all. I hope I did it all. I'm really trying to turn over a new leaf. Okay, math homework check. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wait, I did that. Yes! I actually wrote my school paper for a minute. I thought I forgot to, but nope, totally didn't. I'm going to go have some breakfast. <laughs> Uh, Dad, why is your head stuck in the oven right now? <laughs> That's a funny one, Molly. <laughs> um, well, your dad is fixing the oven. Hold on, I almost got it. Oh, man. Does that mean we can't have any pancakes today? I think I fixed it. Oh, um, what's that smell? Ew, Dad, did you fart? No, I think the oven's on fire. <laughs> ah, abandoned ship. Just kidding, I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, Dad, seriously. <laughs> you really freaked me out there. Where's Daisy? Daisy! Just making sure all of my T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted for my schoolwork. Wait a minute. What's this? There was a school paper due today? How did I miss this? Oh, my God. This is terrible news. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Okay. What would Marley do? She always is terrible about doing your homework, and, 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 and I can't fail, so maybe I'll use her as an example. I know what she'd do. She'd fake being sick. That's how I can get out of this. I I don't feel good. Achoo! <coughs> yeah, that seems really believable. Daisy? Daisy, where are you? Da Daisy? What, what's going on? Oh, Molly. Achoo! I'm sick. You just got out of bed five minutes ago and said you felt great. I know, but it just hit me that quick. Sometimes the flu does that. Holy guacamole. You have the flu? Stay back, Daisy. Stay back. Marty, I'm laying in bed. You stay back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have my mask on because I do not want to catch what you've got. Girls, uh, what are you doing? You're going to be late for... <gasps> Molly, why are you wearing a mask? Is everything okay? No! Mom, put on your mask! Or your hazmat suit! What? Why? Because Daisy's come down with something! What? Oh no, Daisy, are you okay? No, Mom, I feel terrible. I can't go to school. You better put on your mask. Oh, don't worry. I have a really high immunity. I'll be fine. I've caught every childhood bug from, well, going to school for so many years. No, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. It's going to be okay. I'm sure it's just a little sniffle. Yeah, probably, but <coughs> I think I need a popsicle. Okay, Daisy. Well, I'll call the school and tell them you won't be in today. Thank you. Can I stay home too, Mom? I want a popsicle. Absolutely not, Molly. Get ready for school. Oh, man. Woohoo! My fib worked. And now I won't get detention. And now I won't get detention. Daisy, we didn't have any popsicles, but we did have ice cream. Daisy, why are you dancing? Oh, um, no reason. It just helps me to feel a little better. Are you crazy? You need to get in bed. You're sick. Here, I brought you some ice cream. I only licked it about mm, ten times. Ew, Molly, it's all over your mask. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, I've got to get to school. Feel better, Daisy. Thanks, Molly. That was strange as she was out of bed dancing. Who does that when they're sick with the flu? Hmm. Seems kind of suspicious to me. Hello, Brookhaven. Hi, how may I help you? Oh, hi. I'd like to be connected to Mrs. Smith. 
Oh, you're speaking to Mrs. Smith. I'm filling in this morning for the principal until school starts. Oh, hi, Mrs. Smith. Um, this is Laura, Molly and Daisy's mom. Oh, hello. Is this about Molly again? Oh, no. Actually, today it's about Daisy. Oh, no. What happened to my prize student? Well, she's come down with the flu bug. Oh, I see. Well, I would still like her to send over her paper that's due today, please. Oh, sure, no problem. Uh, I think I could have my daughter Molly send it over. Okay, if Molly can figure it out. Hey, I can figure it out! Mrs. Smith, you're so rude. Thanks for understanding, Mrs. Smith. Tell my most prized student, Daisy, that I hope she feels better. I will, Mrs. Smith. Bye. Okay, Molly, uh, did you hear what she said? Yeah, I was eavesdropping on the whole conversation. <laughs> Why don't you go onto Daisy's school portal and send over her paper? Okay, will do. Just gotta go get Daisy's computer. Okay, logging in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey. Where's Daisy's paper? It's not in her homework file. Weird. Maybe I can check over here. No, no. Oh my gosh! Daisy's paper is missing! Okay, I better go ask Daisy about it. Daisy! Daisy! What, Molly? Can't you see I'm relaxing? <coughs> Very sick over here. Daisy, I I'm on your computer. What? Why are you on my computer right now? What, what are you doing? Um, well, Mom called the school. Mrs. Smith answered. Why did she answer? Um, because she's filling in for the principal till school starts. Oh, okay. Well, why do you have my computer again? Because Ms. Mrs. Smith said you had a paper due today, and she still wanted you to send it in, even though you were sick. What? That's never happened! Well, maybe because she answered the phone for the principal, so she could tell Mom that. Anyway, I can't find it in your school folder on your computer, and I'm trying to send it over for you. Um, uh, <coughs> too sick! I, I, I can't fix it. Daisy, you need to send this paper over. Your teacher's asking for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is bad. It's so bad. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Daisy, why are you freaking out? Just tell me what's going on. I I, I can't, Molly. It's, it's so horrible. It's humiliating. Daisy, tell me what's going on. I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for the school bus. I... I I didn't do the paper. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at, Molly? Stop it! <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. I could get detention. <laughs> oh, seriously, my stomach hurts. Stomach, give me a laugh. Molly! What is going on in here? I heard a huge thump. Oh, well, that was just me. I was laughing so hard it fell on the floor. Daisy, why are you out of bed? Molly, I told you to send Daisy's paper over to Mrs. Smith. Yeah, Daisy. Why don't you tell Mom what you're out doing out of bed? <laughs> I think I figured it out. Um, nothing. <laughs> I'm really sick. Yeah, I'm sure she believes that. What is going on here, girls? I'm starting to get frustrated with you both. Molly, you're going to be late for school. Now send that paper. I would love to send that paper, Mom. See if you can find it on Daisy's computer. What are you talking about? You can't find it because Daisy didn't do it. What? Uh, that's not true. I just <coughs> couldn't really work on it too much because I was <coughs> dying from this sickness. <laughs> she didn't do it. Now she's faking being sick. I know because I pulled this prank a million times. What? You have? Well, not a million, but maybe once or twice. Molly! I should ground you! No, you can't ground me after the fact. <laughs> I already did it. Daisy, is this true? Are you faking being sick? Yeah, Daisy, are you faking being sick? Huh? 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 Of course not! I'm a goody two-shoes. I would never do such a thing. Why isn't your paper done then? And why don't you want to go to school? Uh, because I'm sick? Molly, I don't really think your sister is faking it, but why didn't you do your paper, Daisy? Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I confess to the whole thing. I faked being sick, so I didn't have to go to school and get detention because I forgot to do my paper. <gasps> Daisy. Oh, my gosh. You're grounded. What? Me? Oh, my God. This is gold. <laughs> Molly, be quiet or you're going to have uh, grounding for
forever. What? That seems a little harsh since I actually did my paper. I mean, it might stink, but I actually did it. Yeah, you're right, Molly, but don't teach your sister. Okay, can I at least stand here and watch? Karma is so beautiful. Molly! <laughs> Daisy can trust you have to face the music. What? You gonna make me go and get detention? Absolutely, Daisy. Absolutely. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to detention. <laughs> shall write on the board a million times. I am the worst student ever. Psst, Rookie, Rookie, Molly, shh. I'm gonna get detention if you keep talking to me. Would you two be quiet? I'm trying to understand what's going on here. Daisy, shh! Jeepers, you're bringing too much attention to us. Brookie, I have to ask you something. Okay, Molly, what is it? But seriously, don't get us in trouble. I don't want detention. Brookie, do you want to come over for a sleepover tonight? Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. What are we gonna do? We'll play some games. We'll maybe swim in my pool. Um, We'll eat popcorn and watch movies. Oh, M. G. That sounds like so much fun. Can we watch Halloween movies since it's getting so close to Halloween? Yeah, of course. We can watch Hocus Pocus, my favorite. What? Are they seriously planning a sleepover? Ugh, I never get invited to a sleepover, and I love Hocus Pocus. Did you just hear Sarah talking? Not really. She's over there in the other part of the room. She kind of talks to herself sometimes. Yeah, none of her friends are in this class, so... Excuse me, Molly, would you like to share what you have uh, to say with Brookie with the whole class? Yeah, Molly. Oh, Daisy, you're such a teacher's pet. No, thank you, Mr. Smith. And Brookie, I'll see you uh, like an hour after school. Sounds good, Molly. It's Friday night and I'm feeling all right. Do -do -do Friday night and I'm feeling all right. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh, yeah, cue some dance music here. Cue some dance music! <laughs> Molly, you look ridiculous! What have you gone crazy? Crazy for Friday night! Having a sleepover! Having a sleepover! Wait, what? A sleepover? Really? Yep, and Brookie's here right about now. Brookie, I'm coming! I'm gonna dance my way to the door. Brookie, what are you doing? Oh, it's just seeing if you had a doorbell. I couldn't remember. <laughs> you just can knock. Come on in. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. My sister's dancing so bad. Hey, Daisy, are you going to be here for the sleepover too? No, no, she's not. Yes, I am, Molly, and stop dancing and singing. You wonder why you're not invited to the sleepover. It's because you take the joy out of things, Daisy. You suck the life out of them. Molly, that's not very nice. Daisy's my friend, too. Of course I want her to be at the sleepover. Oh, fine. See, Molly? Everyone loves me. You should, too. Okay, well, um, the first thing we could do is, like, turn on the movie that we want to watch. Hocus Pocus! Yeah, that's not on for another, like, 30 minutes, though. Till then, we can watch this dog smiling. <laughs> um, well, I just put my bag upstairs, so, um, we can totally chill out. Yeah, let's chill out. We could veg out. I heard my mom say that the other day. She's so 90s. Where's the sleepover? Oh, here it is. Who's in my house? Ah! Sarah, what, what are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover, duh. Um, uh. Molly, you invited the bully to a sleepover? What were you thinking? I didn't invite her. Oh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, totally. You're talking about it in my class. Actually, it wasn't just your class. We were all there. And I didn't think you wanted to be our friend since you call us losers and bully us all the time. Well, I want to be at this sleepover, so I'm going to stay. Uh, uh. Brookie, should we let Sarah stay? Well, I'm not sure we really have a choice. I mean, here she is, and it's getting late. And, well, 
She packed a bag and everything. Ugh, okay. Sarah, but no calling us a loser and no bullying us. Okay, but I can still boss you around, right? Uh, no. Oh, great. I'm glad to hear you say yes. Well, I want to play truth or dare. What? Truth or dare? Um, I think that might be a bad idea. I've heard things go very wrong with that game. Yeah, like you tell somebody a truth you didn't want them to know. Or you break a leg doing one of the dares. Yeah, we're not playing truth or dare. Yes, we are. I'm the oldest here, and I make the rules because of it. Um, uh, well, she has a point. She is the oldest, Molly. What do we do to play this game, Sarah? Is it like Jumanji? Are we all going to get sucked into this other world, and then, 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 then there's going to be elephants, and oh, my God. Uh, no, Brookie. Truth or dare is nothing like Jumanji. Oh, okay, good. But it can be dangerous. Everyone sit in a circle and be quiet. Okay, fine, bossy. And hello, who's going to valet this bag of mine? What? Take care of your own bag, Sarah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Thanks, Daisy. Ay, ay, ay. How do I get roped into this stuff? Okay, we're all in a circle. Now what? Now someone says truth or dare. Shh! I'm in charge here because I'm the oldest and I've played truth or dare before. Wow, I bet she's played spin the bottle too. Whatever. Anyway... I'm going to ask whoever I want, truth or dare. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I have some questions, though. What do we say? Duh, you say either you want a truth or a dare. Ugh, just pay attention. Okay, whatever. Don't have to be so grumpy at my sleepover. Okay, Brookie, truth or dare? Um, uh, uh, truth. Perfect. Is it true? That you wrote a note once to Daisy saying how mad you were at Molly? Uh, um, well, that was like two years ago, and 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 and, 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 and it was just a big misunderstanding, and 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 and, and. what? But you're my best friend. How could you say that? <laughs> this game's gonna be really fun. Sit down, Brookie. It's your turn. Molly, I didn't mean it. I I I, I take every word back. You feel like a traitor to me. I'm, I, I'm sorry, Molly, please. Okay, fine. I guess I'll let that go. Um, Daisy, truth or dare? Um, I choose truth. Okay, um, do you like mint ice cream butter or chocolate? What? That's such a lame question. Hey, it's her turn. She can ch ask whatever she wants. Um, actually, I would like chocolate better. Okay, fine, whatever. It's your turn, Daisy. Sarah. Truth or dare? Um, truth. Okay, um, why did you come to this sleepover? What? You can't ask me that. Actually, yes, she can. Because <laughs> you picked truth. And you have to tell the truth. It's part of the rules. Whatever. Okay, but this doesn't leave this room. Of course not, Sarah. We would never dream of that. I, I came to this sleepover because I was lonely. And I... Wanted to have some friends. Oh, that's sad. If you'd be nicer to us, we'd be a friend all the time. I don't want to friend you all the time. Just when my friends are out of town. Because they went to Disney without me. Ouch. <laughs> Maybe you should stop bullying them too. Anyway. Truth or dare, Molly. Um, dare. <laughs> I dare you. Jump off the balcony into the hot tub. What? That's against my parents' rules. She could get really hurt doing that. I don't care. It's a dare and you have to do it. It's okay, Daisy. I'll be fine. Only I think this is a bad idea. She could go home. What? No, I'm not. I want to be here. Okay, I'm going to do it. Molly, please don't. You don't have to take the dare. Actually, yes, she does or she loses the game. Okay, here I go. Okay, guys. All right, here we go. Whoa! Molly? Oh, my gosh. Molly got hurt and her head's under the water. I have to get her out. Molly! Molly! Oh, my God. She's drowning. Help! I got her. I got her. Oh, my gosh. Someone called 911. Truth or dare gone wrong. Oh, my God. I'm sure she'll be fine. Where's my cell phone? I've got to call 911. Oh, my God. Molly, hold on. Hold on. She's fading. 
I think she's turning into a ghost. Molly? Molly! 911, what's your emergency? My sister took a dare and chewed the dare and she fell in the hot tub and she turned into a ghost and she's dead. Oh, well, um, then we really can't help you if she's already dead. What? You have to bring her back to life! I can't do that. Um, she's already dead. Sorry. What? They just hung up on me? Holy guacamole! Bookhaven 911 stinks. One star! Well, <laughs> this has been fun, but, um, I think I should probably go now. When do you get back here? Sarah! Oh my gosh. Molly's a ghost! What happened? Molly, can you hear us? Yeah, can can you hear me? I can't see her anymore, Daisy. She's really gone to the other side. You can't, Bucky? Wait a minute. I can't see you either. Molly! Molly! What? What happened to me? How come I can walk right through Daisy? Oh my god! Did I die when I did that dare? I can walk through Brookie too! Oh my god! My sister died playing Truth or Dare! <laughs> what? I died playing Truth or Dare? O. M. G! She is for ghosts, by the way. Hey Luke, when are you gonna be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. I'm going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless and, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So if it's okay if I go over there. Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey Luke, I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about, um, how you were gonna go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Aw, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. Ugh, they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I'll, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah. Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? 
Yeah, as soon as we finish up here, that sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> Either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house and boom, it'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la, I'm so happy. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my God, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best, love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic, seriously. Oh, I was so excited and I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now, seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> oh, brother, yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh my god, you have a crush on Luke! And turns out, he has a crush on me too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. He's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? I, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah, I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole, that is, that is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Huh, just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb? And I would never go out with you? Luke? What? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we were meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, um, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. <laughs> That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, I want you fix, fit down the toilet. Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. 
Okay, class, today we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly. I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're going to really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on... Don't even say his name! I don't want to hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school, and I don't care about anything! Molly! Ugh, you're leaving me no choice but to give you detention. Uh-huh. Whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mmm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? <laughs> why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not fart detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in her box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away as well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy, or happiness, or laughter, or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me! I'm super happy! Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it, doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point now come on molly let's restore your heart back to your spirit whoa my heart it's back oh i missed it so much except for that pain oh luke molly try not to think of those things as much maybe think about the fun things the happy things and well you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you gonna let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good! Even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Where'd I put my math book? Where's my math book? Oh wait, there it is. <laughs> it was right in front of my face. I hate when that happens. <laughs> Molly! Oh, hey Molly, what are you doing? Um, I'm just getting my math book. Why? So you can feed it to your unicorn? <laughs> I know unicorns like to eat homework. Do you want to go inside in my bikes? It's a beautiful day outside. Spring has arrived! Sorry, Daisy. Can't. I have to do my homework. Say what? You're going to do your homework? Oh, my gosh. Who are you? What have you done with Molly? No, seriously. I don't want to have to repeat this grade, so I better get it in gear because school year's almost over. True, Molly, true. You can still pull this off and get some passing grades. I know you can. I can do better than passing. I'm too smart for just passing. I'm going to get at least B's. 
Well, that's a pretty good start, Molly. Now I just have to find my notebook and some paper and pencils. Mm -hmm. Wait, where'd they go? Maybe I left them over here on my nightstand. Oh, no! Oh, man! I can't find any! Ugh, I wonder if my mom has any. She's always, like, got stuff, like, in her room or whatever. Wait, wrong room. I'm lost right now. <laughs> okay, I went into um, baby Kira's room. I don't know why. Uh, maybe on her dresser? No. Nightstand? No. <gasps> I know! She probably locked it in the safe thinking I'm going to steal her paper and her pencils. And she is right! <laughs> Whoa! Mom's got stacks of cash in here! Stacks of cash! Stacks of cash! I wish these were my stacks of cash. Seriously. Oh, wait. What's that? Paper! Okay, score. I found some paper, but I need to find some pencils. Wait, somebody already wrote on this paper. What is this? Thank you for adopting... Molly? Adopting Molly? What are they talking about, adopting Molly? You are now the proud mother of Molly? Oh my gosh! I'm adopted? Why didn't my parents tell me this? I, I, I didn't know I was adopted. They lied to me! That's it. I can't stay here. I, I have to go find, I don't know, somewhere else to live. They kept the truth from me. I don't belong here. I'm adopted. <laughs> I, 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 just, I don't understand why they didn't tell me the truth. <laughs> Molly, Molly, where are you? Oh, there you are, Molly. I made some delicious chocolate chip cookies. Since you were doing your homework, I thought I would be nice. Would you like some? No, I don't need anything from you. You're not even my sister. Molly, what are you talking about? You're being really weird. Why do you have that bag? Because I'm running away from home. Now get out of my way. Molly, what's going on? Molly, talk to me. I don't need to talk to you. You're not even my real sister. Molly, stop it. Come back here right now. No, get out of the elevator. Fine, Molly, I'll go down first. But tell me what's going on. No, I'm not going to tell you. Don't ever try to find me. You're not my real family. Oh, my gosh, I have to call Mom. Something really bad is happening with Molly. Hi, Daisy. What is it, honey? I'm at work. I'm sorry to call you, Mom, but I have an emergency. Okay, what is it, Daisy? What's wrong? It's Molly. She ran away from home. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. Why is she running away from home? I don't know. She said we weren't her real family, and I wasn't her real sister, and she had to go. What is she talking about? I don't know, Mom, but I, I think you better try to find her. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll handle this. Thanks, Mom. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. My whole life has been a lie. I don't want to be around those people anymore. They, they would have told me if I was adopted. It's just wrong. It's so wrong. Okay, where's that tent I packed? Oh, I hope it's warm enough inside the tent. I'm sure it will be. I can do this. I, I, I got my Girl Scout Wilderness badge. I'll put it right here next to the dumpster. Then I also have somewhere to eat breakfast. <laughs> Just my luck, it would start raining. Oh, I hope this tent doesn't leak. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows, cause I'm abandoned. Well, I'm not really abandoned. I sort of decided to come out here on my own. But I'm adopted and no one told me. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. What? What's my mom doing here? Oh my gosh, and I can't even run away because it's pouring outside. Molly? Molly! Oh, there you are. I was so worried. What are you doing? Why did you run away from home? I think you know, don't you? Um, no, I have no idea, but I love you, and we can work it out. I ran away because of what I found in the safe. Wait, you stole all our money, and now you're going to go live on a tropical island? No, but if we have enough money to live on a tropical island, why aren't we doing it? Molly, our life is here in Brookhaven. <laughs> why? I mean, we could live on a tropical island. Okay, not the point. All right, uh, just tell me what's going on. No, I don't need to talk to you. You're not my mom. Molly! That is very hurtful. Why would you say that? Because 
Look what I found in the safe. What? What is it? It's, it's adoption paperwork for Molly, you know, me, your daughter. Why did you lie to me all these years? Oh my goodness, Molly. <laughs> Mom, what are you laughing for? This is exactly why I ran away. Molly, come here, honey. I want to tell you something. Even if you were adopted, you would be very loved. Just because you're adopted doesn't mean you're not loved. You would be my daughter no matter what. But you're not adopted. Liar! That's what this paperwork says! Molly, let me tell you a story. Can you stay calm until my story is over? Yeah, I guess. Once upon a time, I had a dog. Oh my gosh, you're such a good girl. I'm so glad I adopted you, my sweet little puppy. Ah, you look like a Molly. Now should we go for a walk, Molly, or just sit here at the park? Ruff, 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 ruff. Okay, a uh, walk it is. <laughs> come on, girl, come on, Molly. Oh, you're such a sweet dog. Um, okay, you had a dog named Molly. What does that have to do with my adoption? I mean, all that says is that you're not very creative with coming up with different names. Um, Molly, no, that's not the end of the story. You see, Molly was a good dog. She lived about 12 years, but then it was time for her to cross the Rainbow Bridge. What's the Rainbow, Rainbow Bridge? It means when your dog dies. Whoa, your dog died? Well, I don't have a dog named Molly anymore, do I? No, but again, can't you come up with any other names besides Molly? Surprised you came up with Daisy. Okay, look, Molly was such a special dog to me. I had her during college and when I was young and when I was lonely sometimes when I was away at college, she was my best friend. And so when I gave birth to you, Molly, I named you after her. Wait, what? You named me after your dog? I'm not sure if I should be offended or happy with this. Well, since she was the world's most amazing dog, you should definitely be happy about it. She holds a very special place in my heart, as do you. Okay, but that doesn't explain why you have this adoption paper. Molly, read the fine print. Thank you for adopting your new dog, Molly? Wait, this is a dog adoption paper? Yeah, I kept it because it just reminded me of Molly. Oh, Mom, I'm so sorry. I, I thought this was an adoption paper for me. Nope. It was for my dog, Molly. I've just kept it all these years. <laughs> now, where do you say we pack up this tent and go home? Oh my gosh, Mom, I feel so bad. It's okay. When we get home, you can make me some chocolate chip cookies. Uh, too late. Daisy already did. Well, then you can scoop the ice cream on top. Ooh, now you're talking my language. Should we have peanut butter ice cream or vanilla? I say both. Now, come on, honey. Let's go home. Okay, Mom, but tell me the truth. Daisy's definitely adopted, right? No, Molly. Daisy's not adopted. I really think she is. You don't have to lie to me about this. Molly? <laughs> There's no way she really is related to us. I hate to break it to you, Molly, but Daisy's your actual sister. Oh, man. Today's my first day of my summer job. Can you guys guess what my summer job is? <laughs> That's right, I'm gonna work with the police. Well, as a junior cadet, that is. I'm not really a real police officer until I go through police academy, but I did get a job right here at Brookhaven Police Department. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you must be our new recruit, Molly. Are you here for your summer job? That's right. Um, typically we do not jump over the counter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just ate a lot of cupcakes this morning and I have a little bit of extra sugar energy. No problem. Around here we drink coffee every morning and then we eat donuts and then we take a nap. Really? That's what my job is? Yeah, and you can also uh, take 911 calls here and there, but this is Brookhaven. Nothing super interesting happens. Would you like a donut? No, I already had a bunch of cupcakes for breakfast. Okay. Oh, I'm super tired, so oh, I'm going to go take a little bit of a nap. Really? Yeah, 
If there's a 911 call and it's a true emergency, come wake me up. Oh my gosh, this isn't the summer job that I thought I'd have. I thought I'd be busting criminals, cracking open cases that no one else can solve. Molly's on the case. But all I'm doing is staring at the wall and listening to the police officer snore. Wow, she snores really loud. Hmm. I feel like I could be of better service if I could actually crack a case. Let's get into the database and see if anything has happened lately. What's this? Looks like on the police surveillance for the bank, it, it looks like someone's trying to break into the ATM? That's it. I have to take the police car and head over there. I don't think the police officer will mind. She's fast asleep. Whoa! I'm actually driving an official police car! This is amazing! How do I turn on the lights? <laughs> I have to try to figure that out. Maybe I should actually not turn them on because if I do, then then the um the criminal will know I'm on my way. Oh, I can't drive very good! Did I mention I may have not gotten my driver's license? Oopsie! There's the criminal now! Hey! Freeze! What? What's happening? What's happening is you're getting busted there, Scarface Cash Grabber! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> that was your name for me? Yeah, well, I think it's a pretty good one. Actually, my name is Adam Robber. Ah! Ah, you sprayed me in the eyes! Huh? I can't see anything! Where'd you go? Where'd you go, Adam Robber? Seriously, that's your name, Adam Robber? I wonder if there's anything I could steal out of this police car. I hear you! I hear... What? Okay, you're... Ah, you're gonna run me over! What? How are you in the same car as me? Get out! I, can't, I couldn't see where I was going, okay? It's not like I wanted to ride with you. But, uh, get out of the car! I'm trying to rob this! Seriously, is your last name really Robber? It was like you were destined to be a criminal. Hey! Where are you going? Get back here! I'm stealing this car and I'm getting out of here, of course. Holy fuck, I'm only your worst driver than I am. Come back here, cash grabber! Cash grabber! Oh my gosh, I can't run fast enough. Why did I eat so many cupcakes? <laughs> okay, time to put on super speed. Ha <laughs> ha! Got you! You're under arrest! How'd you run so fast? It's called sugar. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Whatever. Adam Robber never gets put in jail. Well, today's the first day. Now get in the back of the police car. Be quiet. I said the back of the police car. Sorry. That's fine. Cause... Do you want me to turn on the radio? Yeah. I love 90s hits. Okay, fine. <laughs>
Um, what? What's the problem? We're out of donuts? Um, no. I, um, forgot to lock that door over there. What, to the cell? Okay, sure. What, what's the big deal about that? Um, because I'm pretty sure that, um, Scarface Cash Grabber got out! Who's Scarface Cash Grabber? Only the most notorious bank robber in the United States! I actually caught him today. What? Yeah, but, um, since I wasn't quite sure how to be a police officer, I, well, uh, accidentally left the store open and he's gone! And the sound of the helicopter, I'm guessing, is him taking off. What? Oh my gosh, Molly, you're not supposed to be trying to go after criminals! Well, somebody had to. All you wanted to do was take a nap and eat donuts. Well, that, that, that's my prerogative. I, I, I'm the boss. I should fire you for this. No, no, I have a plan. Don't fire me. Just just give me a couple more hours. You have until 8 o'clock Brookhaven time, and then you're fired. Okay, okay. All right, I've got to go undercover and look like a criminal. Let's see. I've got to get on my police outfit first. All of this stuff is so cute. Like... Look at that little ballerina outfit. Okay, I've got to focus. Danger, yeah. I'm the most dangerous criminal ever. Let's put on a hat or something. I'm just going to like cover up my hair so we can't see who I am. What am I, a cowboy criminal? No, not that one either. Okay, yeah, this one's good enough. Time to go find the criminal and convince him that um, the money is being able to be stolen at the ice cream shop. Then, once I get there... Oh, wait, I probably should tell Sam this plan. Okay, here's my plan. You're just gonna get fired. Just admit it. No, listen to me, Sam. I have to tell you something. Go and wait for me at the ice cream shop. I'll bring the criminal right to you. What are you talking about? The criminal doesn't care about eating ice cream. Just trust me. I'm gonna be a good cop one day. I just know it. This is your last chance, Molly. Or you're gonna get fired. Now I have to try to find that criminal. Hey, is that the criminal's van? Of course, they're staying at this cheap motel. All right, let's go. See if we can convince him I'm a criminal, too. Is he actually in the van? There he is. Hey, man, what's up? Who are you and what do you want? Um, I was just thinking that um, you might be that Adam Robber guy. What? Wait, you've heard of me? Yeah, you're a famous criminal. I want to be just like you. Seriously, you want to be a criminal? Yeah, so much so that I came to give you a tip. What, what is it? It's a ton of money, and it's the least likely place you'd ever think. Well, I already robbed the Brookhaven Bank. What else is there? The ice cream shop is loaded with money. An ice cream shop? They don't make that much money. This one does. Everyone goes to this ice cream shop because it's the only one in town. They have tons of money. Whoa. Well, thanks for this tip. Yeah. If you don't mind, I'll come along with you. Wait, wait. I want, I want to be just like you. You don't even have to give me any of the money. I, I just want to hang out. All right. I guess I could make you my criminal in training. <laughs> but like I said, you don't get any money. Yeah, okay. I don't have to have any of the money. Can I have an ice cream cone, though? I'm kind of hungry. I don't care if you eat an ice cream cone. Jeez. Try not to be annoying. Yeah, okay. Come on. Let's go get some ice cream. And a lot of money. Yep. Lots and lots of money. <laughs> Time to steal some cash. Mm-hmm. Sure. Hmm. Getting any money yet? Doesn't look like there's as much money as we thought there was. Well, I'm sure you'll get lots of money. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hold it right there, criminal. You're under arrest. What? <laughs> Remember me, Scarface Cash Grabber? I'm just going to run out the back. Good luck with that. It's a dead end. What? Oh, my God. I've got nowhere to go. Yeah, except for prison. You hit me with the door. You know, I'm cool. And this time, I've got to remember to lock the door. Very good job, Molly. I'm proud of you. Does that mean I'm not fired? That means you're not fired. But you're not allowed to go on assignment by yourself anymore. Okay, well, does that mean you'll stop sleeping and eating donuts and actually take me on an assignment? Yeah, we just got a 911 call. Very serious. Really? What is it? A cat is up the tree. Can you believe it? Oh, brother. Let me out of here. I don't deserve to be in here. You do the crime, you do the time, Scarface Cash Grabber. Oh. Okay, I'm going to just send it.
a message to Luke and see if he wants to come over and play. Hey, Luke. It's me, Molly. Are you there? Hey, Molly. Let's video chat. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I was wondering, do you want to come over and hang out with me and Daisy today? Sure. I'd love to. Um, what do you want to do? Do you want to go swimming or something? Yeah, that would be super fun if it's not too cold out now. I don't think it's cold out. It's, it's still pretty hot outside. Okay, cool. Yeah, when do you want to come over? Mm, say, like, I don't know, a few minutes. Sounds good. See you then. Bye, Luke. Bye, Molly. Cool. My friend is coming over today. Did you hear that, brightly colored unicorn? My friend Luke is coming over today. It's going to be so much fun. Why can I not pick up my unicorn? Unicorn, I want to play with you. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Sparkles, you are being so stubborn. <laughs> Good thing you didn't eat my homework today. Or I'd get detention. Then Luke couldn't come over. That would be awful. Do, 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 do. Molly, what are you so happy about? What? Can't a girl just be happy? Huh? 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 Not if it's you, Molly. You've always got something to be grumpy about. Me? No, I don't. I'm not grumpy at all. I'm having a great day. I know. That's why I think... It just can't be you, Molly. Hey, I'm not grumpy every day. Every day you have to do homework, you are. What are you reading, Daisy? I'm reading the Harry Potter series. Again, Daisy, that's all you ever read. Can't you pick a new book? No, I like this series a whole lot. Yeah, it is pretty good. Now you could to tell me why you're so happy, Molly? Okay, I'll tell you. Maybe, if you pay me $10. I'm not paying you my allowance to tell me why you're happy. Never mind. I don't care why you're happy. Hmm. What's that delicious smell? Never mind what it is, Daisy. Ooh, are you baking something delicious? Yeah, but it's not for you. It's for Luke. Luke? What? You're making him something to eat? Why? Because, Daisy. Um, I, 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 well, uh. Molly, tell me right now what's going on. Okay, Daisy, I'll tell you. You're going to get super happy, I'm sure. What? What is it? Ooh, those smell delicious. Luke is coming over to play. What? He is? Oh, boy. Luke's coming. Yeah, yeah, Daisy. Uh, you have a crush on him, I know. No, I don't, Molly. I don't have a crush on Luke. Stop it. Take that back. Yes, you do, Daisy. Seriously, yes, you do. No, I don't, Molly. Daisy, come back here. Yes, you do. Hello, is anybody home? Hey, um, sorry, I can't play right now, uh, but maybe later, okay? Because my mom said I could only have one friend over. Oh, really? Yeah, but don't worry. Um, later, maybe we can go to the park when she gets home. But I'm only allowed to have one friend when she's not here. Okay, Molly, well, have a good day. I'll see you later at the park. Sounds awesome. Bye. Knock, knock, Daisy. Coming in. Molly, get out of my room. Where are you? Daisy? I'm in here, Molly, changing my outfit. Why, Daisy? Is it because Luke's coming over? No, Molly, that's not why. <laughs> that's exactly why. <laughs> Molly, what's that sound? Molly, are you on my computer? Uh, no. Nope, nope. Nope, not on your computer. Molly, what's this sound then? Nothing. I'm out in the living room. Oh, okay, Molly. It sounded like you were on my computer. Me? On your computer? Never. The Bradley Colored Unicorn. The Bradley Colored Unicorn. Do, 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 Wow. The bro this episode of the Bradley Colored Unicorn has got nine, like, billion, nine hundred, five hundred and ninety-seven million. 378,000 hits. Wow. Now I see why everybody loves the brightly colored unicorn because it's amazing. They have so many fans. Molly, are you on my computer for real? Molly, you are on my computer. Get out of here. What are you worried? I'm going to read your diary. Find out that you're in love with Luke. I'm not in love with Luke. Why are you wearing that fancy outfit, Daisy? Oh, this whole thing, this isn't fancy. Yeah, it is. First comes love, then comes marriage. Daisy loves Luke. Daisy loves Luke. Where is Luke? 
Yeah, where is he, Molly? He must be here soon. Yeah, wouldn't you love that, Daisy? Molly, stop saying that! Daisy, I don't even know where you are right now. <laughs> You're missing. Oh, where, oh, where is Luke? Molly, you're waiting at the door for me. You must be super excited about me coming over to your house to play. Yeah, I was seriously excited. Not as excited as Daisy, though. What do you mean? Molly! Uh, nothing. I don't mean anything. Hey, you want a blueberry muffin? Oh, wow. Did you make these for me? I sure did. They're delicious. I haven't had one yet. Oh, so you used me as the taste tester. What if they tasted bad? <laughs> exactly. Then you would have tasted a bad muffin and I wouldn't have. Oh, Molly. Hmm. <laughs> These are pretty good. Hmm. Yummy. I've got to wash my hands, though. They were kind of sticky and crumbly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm still learning how to make muffins. Hi, Luke. It's me, Daisy. Daisy, Luke knows who you are. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's me, Daisy. Hey, Daisy, how are you? I like your outfit. Uh, uh, <laughs> thank you. Oh, brother. I can tell this is not going to be a fun day to play outside. Why is that, Marty? Because, Daisy, you're acting all crazy. I am not, Marty. I'm acting totally dope. <laughs> Why are you randomly laughing, then? Oh, yeah, that's right. You have a crop. Marty, don't say anything. Just say another word. What are you guys talking about right now? She's not talking about anything. <laughs> I, I'm glad you like my new outfit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like your outfit too. Baby Kara, baby Kara. Okay, where's baby Kara? She ran past you, Molly. Ooh, my face. Baby Kira, I'd like you to meet my friend. I don't think you've ever met him before. Baby Kira, don't eat all the muffins. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Hi. I said, Okay, I think she likes you. Her her name is Baby Kira, and this is my good friend Luke. Oh, no, don't tell me. Not another sister. What? What's going on? Nothing, Luke. Come on, let's go outside. Oh, both of my sisters are so annoying with their crushes on Luke. Luke, we got a trampoline. It's super fun. Boing, boing, boing. Whoa, you got a trampoline? That's amazing. Yeah. We had to do a lot of chores for it. <laughs> well, I guess it's not bad you had to work for it. Yeah, if you don't mind working but me, I'd rather just hang out and eat a cupcake. <laughs> Molly. I should do it over by Luke. Ooh. Baby Kira, are you just going to follow us around all day? No, no, Molly. Oh, my gosh. My sister is telling me what to do now. Okay, whatever, baby Kira. Whoa, this is so much fun. I can see the whole neighborhood from up here. Yeah, you can see Pizza Planet, my favorite restaurant ever, besides McDonald's. I love Pizza Planet. I did do, 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 day. Baby Kira, you cannot go on a play date with Lou. I do, baby. <laughs> oh, Molly, you made baby Kira cry. It's okay, baby Kira, don't cry. Oh, no, this isn't going to be good. Yeah, I know you like Luke, baby Kira. Come on, baby Kira. Why don't you go inside with Daisy? That's where all the kids hang out who have crushes on Luke. What? Who has a crush on me? Oh, don't tell me it's Sarah from school. No, it's my baby sister. Oh, that's so cute. My sister's first crush is on my friend Luke. Ugh. Aw, she's so cute. Cute little baby. I just don't know what baby said, Baba. Ah! Baby Kira, come on. It's time for your bottle. I just don't know what baby said, Baba. Say bye bye to Luke. I just don't know what baby said, Baba. I love you. Oh, she said she loved you. 
Bye bye, baby Kira. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi, da, 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 ba, ba, ba. Okay, baby Kira, come on. You can play in your room and drink your bottle. Don't keep following me and Luke around. Hi, yeah, yeah, guys. Can you believe it? Both of my sisters have a crush on my friend Luke. Oh, this is getting crazier and crazier. <laughs>nest over here that I'm spraying for. I don't want you girls to get stung. Oh, huh, wow, Dad. I thought you were wearing your Halloween costume. Creepy! Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Daisy, 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 Daisy. We pick up doing, Molly. Not all of us want attention. I'm actually doing my homework. Duh. Homework? Schmomework. Well, you been, Molly. You went on the bus. Yeah, Molly. Where were you? You're late. Um, the she had detention again, I bet. Daisy, shh! Did you have detention again, Molly? Um, yeah, but I didn't mean it, Mom. I swear, I, I accidentally forgot my homework at home because I took my new backpack to school and look how tiny it is. I didn't have room for my homework and I accidentally forgot it. And, and then a pink elephant sat on it. What? A pink elephant? Yeah, seriously, there was a pink elephant in my room this morning and she's lying! Okay, Molly, well, just go wash up for dinner. She doesn't get a punishment for that? Daisy, mind your own beeswax and do your homework, please. <laughs> I didn't even get in trouble. Oh, yeah. Ma, 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 ma. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Ma, ma, ma. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? Ma, ma, ma. Oh, she's the most annoying person on the planet. Daisy, please be nice to your sister. I'm always nice to her. She's rude to me. Well, you were rude to her right now. She was just being silly and singing a little song, and you were very grumpy. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah. Molly, be quiet. Mom, I got my homework done. Um, I was wondering, um, could I go outside and play? Uh, we're about to have dinner, so not right now. Molly, did you finish your homework? Uh, no, I just got home. Mom, can I have a snack? Well, Molly, we're about to eat soon. It won't be a big one, I'm just starving. Yeah, okay. How come she gets to have a snack before dinner? Something tells me that's not right. Oh, Daisy, just mind your own beeswax, please. Yeah, Daisy, mind your own beeswax. Mm, mm. She's not even eating a healthy snack. How is that allowed? It's allowed because I'm starving and I want to eat this Reese's Cups. Mmm, so good. Molly, you're the naughtiest ever. I don't even know why I pretend to be good. I mean, everybody else is bad and gets away with it. Daisy, what's come over you? This isn't like you. Thanks for the treat, Mom. You're the best. Sure thing, Molly. Just try to stay out of trouble. No promises, Mom. <laughs> Daisy, what are you doing? I'm jumping on the couch. Holy guacamole, this is fun. Where has this activity been my whole life? <laughs> Mom, Daisy's gone crazy. Or maybe an alien abducted our real sister. But my real sister, I mean. But she's gone crazy. What are you talking about, Molly? I don't want to be good anymore. I'm going to be naughty. Whee! Daisy, do you want to be grounded? Yeah, Daisy, you want to be grounded? You want to be grounded? Molly, what are you doing? I'm just trying to show her that only I can be naughty. Why isn't she getting threatened to get grounded, huh? Well, because Molly is... Uh, uh. Yeah, exactly. I'm tired of being the nice one. I don't get any rewards if Molly gets away with everything. I'm going to be naughty! Daisy, come here. I want to talk to you. Okay, what is it? Yeah, Mom, what are you going to tell her? Molly, you just be quiet, please. All right, fine. You don't want to be naughty, Daisy. You want to be yourself, which is good. Nope, no way. Not going to do it. All right, let me just give you a glimpse into your future. <laughs> Another day working at Brookhaven Bank. Hands Seth, Give me all the money! Daisy, what, what are you doing here? I haven't seen you in three years, I think. I said, hands up, give me all the money from the bank. Seriously, you're gonna you're gonna rob your own sister! No, I'm gonna rob the Brookhaven Bank. Get out of here. I know you're just joking around. I'm not joking! Now get moving! Ah! Daisy, you sprayed me with a fire extinguisher! Knock it off, I've gotta get back to work. I said 
Oh, give me the money! Daisy, you're a criminal now? You rob banks? That's right. Not even care if you're my sister. Now get in there and give me the money! Oh my god. I can't believe it. My sister's a criminal! Where's the money? Oh, whoops. I forgot the money. <laughs> That's upstairs. I just went out back to like try to make my brain believe that you were actually going to rob this bank. Okay, now where's my key card? Oh, nope, that's a Reese cup. <laughs> that won't work. Get moving! Okay, fine. I have this delicious blueberry donut from Dunkin' Donuts. Would you like that instead? No! Give me all the money! Wow, Daisy, you really have turned to the dark side. Daisy, you're going to prison for this. Only if I get caught, duh. Okay, what was that safe combination again? Open the door already! Okay, I, I don't remember what the combination is. No one's ever asked me for this much money. I'm going to spray you with this if you don't hurt me up. Okay, fine. Uh, knock, knock. Is anybody home? The key card goes in there. Here you go, Daisy. Here's all the money from Brookhaven Bank. Every single citizen who's worked in this town to put money in the bank and you're stealing it all. Yeah, don't care. Give me it. Daisy, are you going to come to Thanksgiving dinner? No! What about Christmas? Absolutely not! Now let me out of here! I'm stuck! Okay, fine. Here you go. We'll miss you at Christmas, especially since... What? Are you stuck in the door? I'm stuck! Out before the cops come! Oh, this could be a way I could trap Daisy. No! Don't trap me! Definitely not buying you a Christmas present this year. Goodbye forever, Molly! Daisy! You don't have to do this! No! Come on, my trusty horse. We're out of here. Wow. Daisy learned how to ride a horse. That's pretty crazy. Finally, I get a few minutes to eat my donut. Mmm. Delicious. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna get out of here. Five, six. Ugh. This one is so loud. Hey, you want to be quiet? Wh who left the cell open? Holy guacamole! Don't worry, it was me. Because I'm gonna break out of here! Uh, not so fast. Oh, man! Uh, why'd you close the door? Open it, I have to go potty. Go potty over there in the bathroom. Uh, no, that one's clogged up. Someone took a poo-poo in there and it won't go down! Ew, gross. Okay, you can use the cell next door, but hurry up. Ah, <laughs> you fell for the oldest trick in the book. Goodbye. What? You didn't have to go to the bathroom? Come back here. You can't take the helicopter. No. See you later, stinker. You're the worst cop in the world. Eat another donut, chubby. What? I'm chubby? Seriously? Oh, I gotta eat another donut to make myself feel better. <laughs> I can't believe my sister Daisy's gonna die. I haven't seen her in so many years. Oh, Daisy. Daisy! Who is that? You're really loud and annoying. It's me. Your sister, Molly. Oh, I couldn't tell with that chihuahua on your head. Chihuahua? No, that's just my old lady hair. Why couldn't you pick better hair? That old lady hair is ugly. Wow, Daisy, you're still bad right to the bone. Yeah, and I want to die all alone! <laughs> and that's what it'd be like if you were bad. Holy guacamole! Your life stinks, Daisy! I know, right? I don't want to rob banks, and I don't want to die alone, and I don't want to even ride a horse. Uh, Daisy, I don't think the horse was a part of it. Uh, yeah, it was, Molly. She rode a horse. Holy guacamole! Yeah, I don't want to ride a horse. I've decided I'm going to be good, and also that Molly should be grounded for getting detention. She does have a point, Molly. What? No! Yep, Molly, two days detention means two days of being grounded. Ah, ha, 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 Molly. Ah, that's so annoying. Mom, Mom, what's for dinner? Molly, I told you, 
we're not going to be home tonight. Uh, well, Dad's eating cheesecake for dinner. Oh, uh, no, this is just a little snack. <laughs> snack? It, oh, wow, that looks delicious. That smells delicious. Can I have that kind of snack too, Mom? No, you'll spoil your dinner, and we're going to stop and, like, have a nice dinner before Daisy's da dance competition. Wait, what? Daisy's dance competition? I'm not going to that. That's boring. Uh, I sort of think it is too, but... Dan, of course we have to go. We're Daisy's parents. See, I can't get out of it because I'm Daisy's dad, so I have to go along. So you should have to go along too. No, I don't want to. I want to stay home. Come on, Mom. I have lots of homework to do. All right, Molly, you can stay home, but I do expect you to do a few chores to help out around here. And your homework needs to get done. Yep, totally will. What about dinner, Molly? We didn't make you dinner. I'll just go to McDonald's across the street. Ugh, Molly, you really should start eating healthier. Uh-huh, what? whatever you say. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Come on, Daisy, you're going to be late for your dance competition. I'm coming, Mom. I'll be there in a minute. I just have to pack the last of my hair ties. Ugh, my sister's dance competitions are so boring. I'm glad I get to stay home and watch TV. <laughs> Ugh, I'm starving. Time to go get some chicken nuggets. Or maybe I'll get a Big Mac. I'm not really sure. Closed! Jiminy Cricket! How did you close so early? Oh, man, it's not even 7 o'clock yet. Maybe the drive through is open. I don't have a car, but I don't care. Ooh, look at all this delicious stuff. Um, Cheeseburger Deluxe, uh, fries, Happy Meals. Oh, wake up! I'm starving! Why isn't anybody working? Wait a minute, I think I can climb through the window. Oh, ow, ow, it's dark in here. Uh, where's the light? Uh, do I have a flashlight? Oh my gosh, they just kicked me out. Um, listen, I, I need to come in here. I'm starving. There's no food in my house. Well, there is, but I have to make it, and I don't want to do that. Sorry, McDonald's is closed. Cheapers, you can't just break into McDonald's whenever. Whoa, you smell bad. Yeah, that's because I've been working all day. Working at McDonald's is a very hard job, you know. All right, fine. Wait a minute, did she just open it back up? Yeah, but not for you, because you said I smell. Oh, fine. I don't want your McDonald's anyway. I'll just go back to my house and have to cook something, which is really annoying that I have to cook something. But, you know, whatever. I can't believe I couldn't get chicken nuggets. This is so annoying. All right, what do we got here? Baby food? Well, um, that's baby Kira's, but that could be a really easy thing to eat. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Mom has chicken nuggets here? Um, yes, please. Frozen chicken nuggets are, like, totally delicious. All right, how do I turn on the oven? Um, uh, eh. Use any one of these. An oven. An oven would be helpful. Okay, there we go. This oven is so fancy. My mom just got this new oven. I don't even know how to use it half the time. All right, maybe I should go over here and, like, make, like, a cappuccino or something. Hmm, do 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 Oh, wait, this is an ice cream maker. You guys can tell how much I actually spend time in this kitchen. Like, pretty much never. My mom does all the cooking, or sometimes Daisy does. Come on, seriously. Chicken nuggets, I'm starving. Get done already. All right, over here I could make some, like, fruity juice or, like, drink or something. If I had the ingredients, that is. Hmm, where's all the plates in here anyway? Ow, 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 they're super hot, super hot. Oh, but they smell delicious. All right, time to watch my favorite show and eat some delicious ch delicious chicken nuggets. I can't even talk, I'm so hungry. Mom doesn't normally let me eat all these sauces on the couch, but since she's not here, <laughs> I can do anything I want. Mm, these are delicious. Mm, holy guacamole. Who would think that these would be just as good as McDonald's? And I actually made them. It's amazing. Mm, I'm going to eat the whole thing myself. Now I'm not going to save any for my sister. <laughs> well, I guess I should take care of this dirty plate. I mean, Mom would probably be mad if I didn't. Hey, what's that? A note? Dear Molly, do your homework and do the dishes. I hate to turn you in for a new daughter. 
turn me in for a new daughter? Like what? Like I'm a library book that she borrowed or something? You can't just trade me in, Mom. Uh, well, whatever. Because I'm not doing my homework or doing the dishes right now. I'm just going to sit here on the couch and chill. Oh my gosh, it's 10 o'clock at night. Where's Mom and Dad? Where's Daisy? They're never this late. Oh well, they probably just got stuck in traffic. Dad, what happened to the car? This hunk of junk is always breaking down on me. We need a new car. I don't know what you're talking about. As long as I've got my pumpkin spice latte, everything is right with the world. Mom, we're going to be stuck out here with the duck. There's bears. Well, <laughs> maybe they like pumpkin spice lattes. Honey, um, it's almost midnight and no one's coming from the car repair shop. I think they're closed. Like, I think we might actually have to spend the night inside the car. What? It's freezing out. Well, I guess we'll just make the best of it. Pumpkin spice latte for everybody. I have a whole jug of it in the car. Oh, no. Well, like your mom said, I guess we'll make the best of it. We'll just call in the morning and uh, the repair shop will be right out, I'm sure. Only one problem, Dan. Um, my phone is dead because I used up all my battery to take videos of Daisy's dance competition. Is your phone charged? Uh, well, uh, I accidentally left mine at home. But you always bring yours, so I didn't think it was a big deal. Are you two kidding me? You guys are supposed to be the grown-ups! ay 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 Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I'm starting to panic! I'm starting to panic! It's 1.30 in the morning and my parents aren't home! Oh my gosh! Do you, do you think that, that they knew I didn't do my homework or my chores again? So they abandoned me in Blocksburg? No, I had a feeling this might happen. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't live in this house all by myself. Who's going to make me my food or, 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 or drive me to school? Wait, I could try calling my mom's cell phone or my dad's cell phone. Someone's got to have their cell phone. I can't believe my parents don't give me a cell phone. Seriously, I have to use this prehistoric dinosaur of a telephone. <sighs> okay, here we go. It just keeps ringing. Why aren't mom and dad picking up? OMG, I think they might have abandoned me. Ugh, no wonder I smell awful. That can't be why though, seriously. Why don't they want to come home to me? Don't they love me anymore? I'm, I'm all alone. <laughs> My entire family abandoned me. <laughs> well, I guess I should go to bed and, and try to figure this out in the morning. I mean, I'm going to have to go, like, find new parents and stuff. <laughs> Mom? Dad? Where are you? Oh, wait, that's right. They, they don't live here anymore. They abandoned me. <laughs> Molly? Molly, are you home? Are you okay? Mom? Dad? Am I just hearing things or are they really back? Guys! Where you been? I, I thought you left me forever! Oh, don't even get get us started. I, I can't believe the night we had. I thought that pumpkin spice latte was going to fix everything. Well, it didn't fix the fact that she stinks. Oh, you smell so bad, Mom. What? You smell bad, too! Whoa, 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 you guys are really grumpy. Where you been? Oh, we had to sp spend the night in the car because the car broke down and, and, and it was awful. The repairman came those this morning and gave us a ride home. First thing tomorrow, we're gonna go buy a brand new car. What about this morning? Why don't we buy one this morning? This morning, I'm taking a bath and a nap. Whoa, well, I'm so glad to have you home. I literally thought you were leaving me forever. Molly, no matter how bad you are, and even if you don't do your homework, I'm still not going to abandon you. You're my daughter. I love you more than anything. What about me? Well, of course, I love you more than anything, too. Do you love her more? No, she loves you more. I love you both equally. Ah, oh, I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. Me too. Me three. What am I going to do all day? I don't know, Molly. Go to McDonald's, watch TV. I don't care. Woohoo! 
<laughs> Sounds like my kind of day. Nothing like five cheeseburgers to get your day started right. Mm, these are going to be so delicious. Mm. I love McDonald's. Daisy, it's been a super long week at school. I cannot wait to go to Chuck E. Cheese, have some pizza, play some games, and just chill. I know what you mean, Molly. It has been a rough week. Whoa, watch it, Chucky. Cheapless, didn't we just say we had a rough week and you're already running into us? Whoa, Daisy, sounds like you need a piece of pizza. You sound hangry. Well, I am kind of hungry. I noticed you're very grumpy. Chucky was just trying to say hi. Yeah, right. He was getting up in my face about it. <laughs> Daisy, it's going to be fine. Let's just get some pizza, some soda, and then we can play the favorite game of all, the claw. I'm going to win a prize today if it's the last thing I do. pizza in the world. I have to agree, Molly. It is very good. Hmm. I cannot get enough of this pizza. I think I've eaten like a hundred slices. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Ew, Molly, that boop smells like the sewer. Yeah, but now I have a lot more room for more slices of pizza. Hmm. <laughs> So good. Oh, Molly. <laughs> Hi, we're Chucky. Hi, we're Chucky. Welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. Molly, is it just me? Or is this show they put on with the big robot guys a little creepy? Yeah, and apparently they have more than one Chucky now. Look at them all up on stage. Oh, wait a minute. The curtain just dropped. Um, But I can still see their noses, which is probably a glitch. And they need to fix that right away because it's really creepy. Totally. Let's get out of here. I'm done with my pizza. We can play some games. Okay. La 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 la. So many games. What am I going to play first? Oh, there's a fishing game. There's skee ball. Ooh, skee ball. That sounds like so much fun. Molly, um, there's a creepy burger guy following me. What? A creepy burger guy? What are you talking about? There's no burger guy. We're not at McDonald's. Yeah, but they are, Molly. It's just Chucky. And besides, we all know you were kind of grumpy with Chucky e. Cheese. No, Molly, seriously. Look behind you. Ugh! That burger guy is kind of creepy. It's all right. Let's just go in the other room and play the crane game. Maybe he won't follow us. I hope you're right, Molly. I hope you're right. Holy guacamole! They've gotten so many more crane games! Oh, wow. This one looks amazing. I want to turn next. I definitely want to turn next. <laughs> Are you done? Are you done yet? Molly, don't be rude. She's still playing. All right, here we go, guys. I cannot wait to try this game. She's already on to the other one, but this one doesn't seem to be working. Let me just see if I can get it to work. All right, there we go. Wait, is it working? Molly, I think this one um, might be broken. What? No, it's not broken. Don't say that. Never say it's broken. Molly, just try a different one. But I want a kush ball. They're so cool. All right, fine. I'll go try this one. Cool crane. Four tickets. Holy guacamole. I can afford four tickets. I have like 100 from Chuck E. Cheese. Just have to put in my card and... Don't tell me this one's broken too. Okay, no, good. All right, guys. Here I go. I'm going to move the claw over. I have to drop it right at the right time. Molly, I'll help you decide when it's the right time. No! I want to decide myself. All right, guys. I want one of these... Awesome little bears with the top hats. All right, I'm dropping it. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't win. No fair. That's the way the claw crumbles. <laughs> Maybe this one will work now, too. Oh, it does. Yes. Molly, when do I get a tune? Uh, right after me, Daisy. Okay, here we go. I'm moving the claw. I don't think it's moving, Molly. Well, it took my ticket to better move. Yeah, no, it's moving. All right, this is exciting. So exciting! I want a koosh ball so bad! Right, I'm dropping it. I think I might be better with this game than you. I think not, Daisy. Oh, come on! It rolled away! That wasn't fair! Molly, are you gonna keep playing this until all your tickets are gone? Yeah, pretty much. This is amazing. Alright, um, should I play this game again? Yes, I'm going to. Come on, I just need to get one of these. They're so cool. 
I am dropping it. Sometimes if you drop them in the corner, it works better. Because then the ball can't, like, roll away. <gasps> oh, my God. No! Oh, that's so unfair. All right. All right, I give up on that one. I'm going to go to a different one. Ooh, look at they have Kermits. They have, um, like, uh, Patrick from SpongeBob. This one looks really fun. Dizzy, are you going to try to? You're more obsessed with the claw than me, Molly, I have to say. Okay, Dizzy, go around the side of it and see if I'm in the right spot. Like, go over here and, and look. Okay, a little to the front and drop. Am I going to get, what am I going to get? Ooh, there's an Among Us toy in there, too. You could have gotten that pickle. Oh, I can't. I can't get anything, apparently. All right, let's try this one again. I'm not leaving until I get a toy. I want a toy. Maybe if you go all the way back and over. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. Seems like a good spot. What am I going to get? You almost had that pickle. Ay, ay, ay. This is so annoying. All right. Molly, why do you love it if it's so annoying to you? I don't know, because I just do. The, the chances you might get a toy are like, they're like zero. Molly, do you see that weird thing coming through the wall over there? What? No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to play the game. I'm dropping it. Come on, give me a toy. No! Molly, you're going to waste all your tickets. It's not a waste if you love the game. Guys, slam the like button if you think I can at least get one toy out of one of these crane games. Come on, guys. Believe in me, please. I, I need, like, just a little boost of confidence here because I feel like I'm not getting any toys. It's making me kind of sad. I'm wasting all my tickets. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> You're being crazy right now. All right. Let me take a try. All right. Here you go, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm going for it, Molly. I'm going for it. I'm telling you, I am obsessed with the crane game in real life. Now I know I can play it for free on Roblox. I've been doing this all the time. Did you get it, Daisy? Oh! Oh my gosh, Daisy, you almost got that. All right, let me try. Ay, uh, yeah, ay, yeah, Molly. I don't think you can. It's just going to keep taking your tickets. No! I don't understand. I'm obsessed with this. I must. Okay, Molly, you lined up like perfectly. Yeah, I think so. I think I can get that like little like noob or whatever he is. I don't know. Molly! Oh, you didn't get him. Oh, no. This silly game. Oh, oh. Molly, don't kick it. That's not going to help. Well, it keeps stealing all my tickets and, and, and it's broken. <laughs> uh, Molly, there's something really evil behind me, isn't there? Ah, it's that creepy burger guy. You think my games are dumb? Well, what do you think about this? Daisy, I think he's putting us inside the claw machine. Uh-oh, Molly. He's evil. <laughs> ah, Daisy, help. Molly, be careful. Run. Daisy, it's it's too late for me. <laughs> what just happened to me? Oh, my gosh. I'm in the claw game. OMG, I'm one of the prizes and... good and look at that claw it's pinchy pinchy ouchy ouchy i knew it was a bad idea to come to chuck e cheese this is making me fairly upset i can't figure out why i have such a big head is it because i have such a big brain i doubt that molly oh very funny daisy um look we're not toys we're not prizes let us out of here i don't think she could hear us molly and i think she wants a prize she's obsessed with the claw just like you are well, she can't get us. Look at her. She's terrible at the claw. Why are you just, like, going right there? You have to move the claw. Don't help her, Molly. We'll be her next prize. Um, yeah, that that's that's probably a bad thing, huh? Well, Molly, maybe we can find a way to escape here. I don't know, Daisy. I think the only way to escape is to be collected. Oh, no. I don't want to be someone's prize. Hey, this guy's rude. This other toy in here is, like, beating me up with a, with a baseball bat. What? Where's my baseball bat? Don't I get one? I apparently not, Molly. Just that way. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! She almost got me! The claw cannot get me, Daisy. Ah! Too late! She's collected me! Well, hopefully she's nice, Molly. Um, have a nice life. 
Daisy, as soon as she collects me and puts me down into that thing, I'm out of here, Daisy. I'm out of here. I, 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 I'm going to run for it. You should get collected too, and then you should run for it. Okay, Molly, we'll both run for it, and maybe we'll get out of here. I hope so. Is she ever going to drop me into the, 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 like the toy thing? Okay, we're, we're out of here, Daisy. Come on, run. Okay, I've got to find an exit. There's got to be one here around here somewhere. Wait, let's go this way, Daisy, this way. Oh, it's like an abbey. If we get out of here, then um, maybe we can be turned back into our normal selves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did I just get put back into the claw game? No! Daisy? Uh, sorry, Molly, but it turns out that now I'm in charge of the claw. Daisy, no! How could you? You went over to the dark side! Evil! Well, Molly, I think maybe you're finally over you, your possession with the claw. <laughs> think again, Daisy. Think again. You can never escape the lore of the crane game. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! This crane game is so fun! We gotta keep playing! Gotta keep playing! Good morning, students! Good morning, Professor Smith! Good morning! I see a bunch of you are out with the flu still, but the three of you have decided to show up for class, so welcome fall, welcome autumn. Your assignment is on the board since autumn has begun. I know, Halloween is right around the corner. I can't wait, Professor Smith. Well, <laughs> since you're excited about this season, your assignment is to collect leaves to study as a class. So after school today, that's your homework. Everyone needs to go out and collect some different leaves from trees so we can identify them and study them under the microscope. Actually, that sounds like a fun time to me. We could go get a pumpkin spice latte from, from um, Starbucks and then like look at the pretty leaves and... Ugh, that sounds like a snore fest. I'm gonna play Roblox. Actually, that sounds fun to me too, Daisy. Come on, Molly, we could all go together. Ugh, all right. See? <laughs> sounds like you guys have it all planned out. Now, pop quiz! Pop quiz? Oh, man! Ugh, school really fries my brain. Hit fries my brain Molly you just need a pumpkin spice latte actually what I really need is a cupcake a cupcake let's go to Starbucks and get one that sounds like a fabulous idea to me well I finished my homework and study hall early so I took off and went over there and got one you didn't bring us anything back rude well I'm about finished with this one so we can go get another one <laughs> you can't have too many pumpkin spice lattes, can you? Uh, not really. It's autumn time. You need to drink as many as you can. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? Hi, I like one um pumpkin spice latte and um a um, donut, a chocolate chip cookie, and a cupcake. Holy guacamole, Molly. Hey, I didn't say you could take a bite out of it. Sorry, my shift doesn't end for another three hours and I'm starving. Well, why don't you buy yourself one? Sorry. Um, name please? Uh, my name is Fartolomew. Fartolomew? What? Wait, you, you gonna be rude to me about my name? I mean, it's what my parents named me. Molly, your name is not Fartolomew. It is Fartolomew. And, you know, just so you know, the kids bully me and call me Fart at school. Oh, that's horrible. I'm sorry, Fartolomew. Um, you can go take a seat. Your order will be right up. And don't worry, your nickname won't be Fart with me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Fartolomew will just be sitting over here. <laughs> My sister is so ridiculous. Molly, you're such a prankster. Hey, you're supposed to be calling me Fart for short. Uh, Molly, nobody would name their kid Fart Ptolemy. I don't know, our parents might. They're kind of quay quay like that. Fart Ptolemy, your order's up. <laughs> Every time she says Fart Ptolemy, 
I just, I want to pee my pants. I laugh so hard. <laughs> wow, look at that tree. I bet that would have amazing leaves to take in to Professor Smith. Mmm, this cupcake's delicious. Marty, are you going to help us with this science project at all? Um, mmm, oh um, my god, you're eating my snack. And I'm super thirsty. Come on, Daisy. It seems like Molly's kind of busy eating her snack right now. We'll get some of these leaves and we'll have them for our, our class tomorrow. Sounds good. I'll go on the back and you just shake the tree a little bit. What? No, I was going to chop down the tree. What? No, you can't chop down a tree. What did it ever do to you? Okay. No fighting. Just take the leaves peacefully. No need to chop apart the tree, Brookie. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> Silly me. Hey guys, look at this. I found something. Yeah, probably another boring leaf. Mm, this donut's way more entertaining. What is that thing? I don't know. It, it's making a lot of beeping sounds. Well, can you eat it? Molly, not everything interesting in life is food. Speak for yourself. Mm, this is delicious. Molly, Will you ever stop eating and help us with this science project? Uh, yeah, of course I will. Holy guacamole, it's beeping like crazy. I'm pointing right at Molly. Wait a minute. Let me get a look at that bookie. The lie detector 3000? Oh, man, these are so expensive. I wonder who left this here. I don't know, but it tells you if you, somebody's lying. Yeah, watch this. Molly, are you going to do your homework tonight? Um, yeah, I'm sure I will at some point. See? It's detecting that Molly's lying. Wow. That thing is pretty accurate. Oh, so stuffed from eating all that food. Now I know that wasn't a lie. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't even need the lie detector for that. Daisy, let me see that thing. Uh, Molly, I feel like you could get in a lot of trouble. I don't know about that. Daisy, give it to me. Daisy, I have a question. Uh-oh, Molly, don't ask me a bunch of questions. Do you have a crush on Luke? I'm not answering that, Molly. Wait, you have a crush on Luke? Daisy, are you serious? You never told me. Um, uh, um, yeah, I do. Whoa, she didn't lie, because the lie detector didn't go off. Guys, do you realize what this means? It means we can tell if our parents are telling fibs, if our teachers are telling fibs, if the class bully is telling a fib. This could be very useful. <laughs> hey, Molly. Whoa, what you got there? And how was school today? Oh, this is just something for my science class. Don't worry about it. it it's just something we built in science class. It, it's, it's no big deal. Oh, okay. What's for dinner, Mom? Um, we're having liver and sauerkraut. What? Ew, why are we eating that? Because it's so healthy. <laughs> Mom, you're lying to me right now. That's not actually healthy. Why are you feeding me that? Wait, you you knew I was lying? Well, well um, yeah. Okay, yes, I told a fib. It's because, well, it was all I had in the freezer and... I've had it there for like a year, but I didn't get time to go to the grocery store, so I just decided to cook it up for you for dinner and make you think that it was healthy. I'm sorry I lied. Parents are perfect! Um, I think this calls for a trip to McDonald's! Okay, whatever you say. I just feel like a bad mom because I told you a fib. Um, okay, mom, it's all right. Uh, we can get happy meals. Everything will be great. Hey, Daisy, what you doing? I'm doing homework. Lies! What are you actually doing? What? Oh, man, you have that lie detector still. Um, well, I was doing a little bit of shopping. Oh, you're such a fashionista. That thing is definitely in the wrong hands. Give it to me, Molly. Not a chance. Me and this lie detector are going to get to the bottom of a lot of people. And we're going to figure out exactly whether they're honest or not. Today's going to be super fun at school. <laughs> the lie detector will tell all. Oh, there's Savannah. Oh, look who it is. 
it's the loser. Wow, you've been hanging out with Sarah a lot, apparently. Because now you've turned into a bully, Savannah. What are you doing with that giant backpack full of cookies? Um, they're in case I get hungry? Duh. Whatever, loser. Why are you so mean? What? I'm not mean. I'm just popular because I'm a cheerleader, which makes me so happy and so much better than everyone else. <laughs> I don't think so. I think your heart is full of fluff. What? What did you say? You feel empty inside. You don't really even want to be a cheerleader, do you? Why would you say that? Of course I do. <laughs> Lie detector says, I don't think so. Wait, what? You you have a lie detector? Yep, and it sees right through you. Give me that dumb thing. I'm going to break it. Don't come any closer, Savannah. You, you, you can't take it from me. Whatever. Give it to me. Hey, get your hands off of that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do we have here? Molly, Savannah, are you fighting? No, I wasn't fighting. I'm a great student, but Molly always gets detention. She's probably the troublemaker. What? No, I'm not. Molly, my office now. Oh, man, I'm going to the principal's office. Ugh. <sighs> Molly, we meet again. You are in this office more than any other student. Ah, uh, no, not any other student. Are you sure? More than any other student? Yes. Oh man, the lie detector didn't go off. I really am in here more than any other student. What? Um, Principal Shootermaker, I, I, I'm really sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to get in a fight with Savannah. Uh-huh, sure. Well, you have detention and this is going on your permanent record. Permanent record? Is that what you said? Is there such a thing as a permanent record? Um, well, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I think you're lying right now to a student, which means you should get detention. What? What are you talking about? What is that thing you're holding? This is a lie detector, and it just detected a lie. Well, um, I'm a grown-up, so I can... You can lie? I don't think so. You have to take back my detention. Um, <sighs> fine, but that lie detector needs to stay in your backpack. Deal. Remember... It's never nice to tell fibs. Molly, I swear, you make me want to quit my job. Whoa, that's kind of harsh. Well, I at least need a vacation, and that's not a lie. Now go to class, and no more arguing with other students. Okay, have a great day. <laughs> this lie detector got me out of detention. 